Live day trading penny stocks, day trading live on a small account, small amounts, day trading live stream using Thinkorswim, TD Ameritrade, day trading live, a stock FRSF, FRSX, high alert right now, stock FRSX is moving right now as we speak. Hopefully you guys are looking at this one, FRSX, I just want you guys to be aware of this one, out loud, boom, 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 look at this one. Uh, the market was pretty slow this morning, but stock FRSX just started moving in the pre-market right, right now. So here we go. It's going. It's all the way to 125. Anyways, I'm not going to trade the pre-market. I just want you to be aware of the stock that is moving. I also have GNUS on watch, uh, TNXP, and stock BMRA. Sorry for talking so loud. Sometimes I get to yelling, and I don't know what's going on, man. Stock FRSX. I love this stock, actually. I love trading this stock. I've traded this many, many times in the past. Good morning. Halftime is game time. Good morning. So day trading live, the live stream every single day from 9 a.m. till noon. Day trading low float small cap stocks. Day trading stocks for beginners. The hot stocks straight from the watch list, man. That's what we're doing here. That is what we're doing here. FRSX. I'm going, if you guys don't know, I have another screen over here. I put up some charts over here. So anyways, boom, boom, boom. There we go. Got that up. So let's get through everything we get through. I fixed my stream deck. It was messed up for some reason. BMRA has high hopes for me today. And TNXP, so stock TNXP. I'm just going to put my stocks out there right now. I It may be different ones at the market open. TNXP. Uh, in no particular order, BMRA and FRSX, FRSX, boom, boom, boom. These are my top stocks right now, so anyways. Oh, and GNUS, I forgot to put GNUS down. There we go, boom. Okay, so let's get this show on the road, man. You know what time it is. It's, t it's day 87 of the Monkey Army March, 2020, day 87 of the Monkey Army March, all the way up, that's right. That's right, man. Nothing else to do with it. That's right. 2020, the Monkey Arm remarks all the way up. Next thing I need to go through is my adding money. I'm trying to get through this really quickly. Adding money. Adding money, I save $5 each and every day. Same $5 each and every day so far at $40. Right below that, I donate. Thank you, guys. I'm not a rich man. Every single dollar that comes into this live stream stays with this live stream. There's a few stocks moving right now. GNUS, BMRA is starting to move a little bit. IO is also moving, but I think that's a short sell up towards the 350s. I did take a long trade on it in the pre-market. But anyways, I'm saving for a CMEG account. When I get to 4K, I will load a CMEG account. Saving for a TradeNet account, 500 bucks also. Okay, so there we go. I need to get through some of this stuff. So GNUS is moving too right now. GNUS. Boom. So I want to flip through these. GNUS is going up, up, and up. I like this play. I like FRSX, FRSX. Sorry, guys. I'm just going through all this stuff. IO is actually, I did take a trade on this, but I sold a little early just like usual, but oh well. Anyways, GNUS, FRSX. I think IO is going to be a great short sell today. I think CARS is going to be a short sell today too. And stock SM. You know what kind of short sell I look for. Uh, I, I like to short into a spike. Uh, there's a lot of finance stuff out there right now, and I just don't really like it. The, the stock market, I was really worried. P-I-X-Y uh, P -I -X -Y is also moving right now a little bit. P-I-X-Y. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. A few stocks starting to move around here. P-I-X-Y, F-R-S-X. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this, man. Uh, what about I.O.? Chris N., I don't know. Maybe I.O. is going to go up. I just think maybe the easy side of the money is going to be on the short side on I.O. I think up towards 350. If it could spike up towards 350, even the 330s, even the 320s, somewhere right there. I just think somewhere there's going to be a short sell. It's going to come back down a little bit. But anyways, there could be a long trade. Remember to always trade your own plan and plan your own trade. I need to get through some of this stuff right here. I do have a lot of buying power. I went a little haywire this morning in the pre-market, but oh, well. I.O. is also moving right now. I.O. G-N-U-S. Okay, so let me go through this. Monkey Army. Who's in the Monkey Army? Number one are keychain holders. Number two are people that have donated. Number 
uh, three are subscribers. And what uh, what does the monkey army get? Who knows? Maybe nothing. <laughs> but anyways, what I'm trying to do is save 20% of the ad revenue for future giveaways. I can't make no promises. I'm doing the best I can. I'm just showing you my journey through the stock market. That's it, man. Giveaway so far. We've had three giveaways so far. One, the golden power keychain. The second one was $100 ad revenue. Third one, $100 ad revenue. Number four, coming soon. G-N-U-S, man, is going up, up, and up. Okay, so the next thing I need to go through is my word. Sorry, you guys know I have to go through this stuff every day. <laughs> Sorry, man. I know we're here for the stock market, but I like to... I like to get through some of this stuff. So I, I have a small vocabulary. I'm trying to learn a new word each week. Learning a new word each week. This week's word is sanguine. Sanguine. Optimistic or positive, especially in an apparently bad or difficult situation. Or it can also mean blood red. It can also mean blood red right there. So uh, sanguine. Optimistic or positive, especially in an apparently bad or or difficult situation strike a post so I can start my day bro <laughs> gone core I will I will at some point today the next thing this is really really important to me right here the next thing I'm gonna put on my screen this is everybody who has donated thank you guys I'm not a rich man thank you for finding value in this channel thank you for uh, supporting the channel thank you for being here thank you for being my friends thank you for the mission all the way to one million dollars we're gonna make it happen right here right now today all the way up man thank you thank you thank you i shout your name for certain the rooftops i shout you wherever i go thank you and thank you and thank you i would just want to give some great gratitude to everybody who has donated so far and everybody that will donate in the future thank you i anything i step forward i live for today we are going to live for today we're going to make our money today thank you man what are we going to do you want to get it done we're going to do it right now get it done then. <laughs> that's what we're going to do you want to get it done let's get it done man that's what we're doing here today every single day thank you guys i just want to say that i want to take a little bit more time out of my day today just to say that from the bottom of my heart man seriously you guys know who i am this is me i'm not putting on no show this is my real deal life this is me day trading the stock market trying to make money in the stock market showing my journey showing my way showing you everything i do wrong showing you everything i do right and things like that what what do you think of kmph and dcar uh, Sean, I'll look at those in just a minute. Let, let, let's look at IO. IO, now this one, look at this. To me, I would short sell right here, but it looks like it could break out. I, I would short sell and then I would add into the 350s right here. This is what I would do. This is only what I would do. I'm not giving you guys a, a game plan or anything. This is basically just what I would do. I'm showing you my journey. Always trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Always, always, always. RMBL. Okay, so let me write those couple stocks down right there to see what's going on. <clears throat> Let's see. Look at FRSX. I shouted it out too loud, man. I shouted it right to the ground, man. <laughs> I shouted it right to the ground. Okay. Say your disclaimer too, my dude. Don't want to get pimp slapped by the SEC. Yes. Remember, we are just, this is, I'm just showing you my journey, man. That's it. That's all I'm doing. I, I have a disclaimer in my description. So when you come to the YouTube channel, the first thing you should look at is that kind of stuff and you can read right through that you can see what i'm doing here i'm just trading my own plan and planning my own trade man <laughs> i'm going to trade my own plan and plan my own trade trader todd usa good to see you man i remember when monkey told me to go all in on lk Airbus. <laughs> now i'm going to starbucks now i'm going to starbucks man all right so anyways i don't really see a lot of uh things today in the stock market G-N-U-S, I'm thinking B-M-R-A may get some volume. It does have to do with the flu, B-M-R-A. What were those couple stocks? Let me look at those. R-M-B-L, yeah, R-M-B-L was a good one too. Uh, what were those ones you were just saying? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, K-M-P-H. and uh, Let me look at K-M-P-H and D-C-A-R, D-C-A-R, K-M-P-H and dcar boom okay so anyways 
The first thing I notice on DCAR is low, 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 low volume. Look at this, just low, low, low volume. It popped up, it gave us a great move as day traders were just capturing the momentum. Sure, it came all the way back down. All these stocks do the same thing each and every day. So we're just here to get our money, ma'am. They go up, they go down, just like any other stock in the stock market. They go up, they go down. Everything else may be at a little bit faster pace, but that's how come we can get so much money day trading low float small cap. Basically, penny stocks, ma'am. Lots and lots of money. I consider a low float stock any stock under $100 million. So this one, I just wouldn't trade. Maybe it's bouncing off the lows down here or something. I do have a daily support resistance line on DCAR at $0.52. Cents. This is just not a stock I would day trade and still, until the volume got a little bit higher. Sorry, I just don't have a clean look at this. KMPH, the first thing I notice when I see candles like this, it reminds me of computers trading, 100 shares, 100 shares, back, forth, back, forth, and I don't know what's happening. KMPH, just garbage, garbage to me, to me. KMPH, so both of those are just basically garbage to me. My top stocks are uh, I, uh, IO. I owe, I guess I owe, I owe, I owe, so off to work I go, just like that, uh, I owe, I owe. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mr. Uh, nice. Oh, Mr. Nice's birthday, man. MGNX, that was a monster, man. MGNX, I seen that one yesterday. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for being here. What you're seeing in front of your very eyes is my one minute chart, five minute chart. Where is my FRSX now? FRSX, didn't I put that up here? No, okay, FRSX, FRSX, boom, FRS, oh, I did put it up there, it's right there, oh, never mind, okay, FRSX, there it is, okay, anyways, okay, so l let me get my bearings about me, what are we going to trade today? I have no idea what I'm going to trade today right now. There's also this one, EVLO, was moving around a little bit. So let me put this one up on the chart, EVLO. This one also has to do with the virus also, I believe. Yes, uh, with the virus. I'm still, I'm still kind of trading stocks to do with the virus. Thank you guys for hitting the like button. We already got 26 likes, man, in the mark, and we just started out. Thank you guys. We got a record number of likes yesterday. Thank you guys for hitting that thumbs up button. It means a lot to me. YouTube loves it, and I love it too. You guys know the same thing I say each and every day, and it never will. 53 and the corona hasn't got me yet. Corona hasn't got me yet either, but uh, oh man, it's getting close. It's getting close, man. It's about to attack. It's about to attack, man. Hopefully it doesn't get me. I Hopefully it really... Oh, I wanted to... Look at this. Look at GNUS. Look at this. Look at that. Watch it. Watch it go, man. This is what you have to be careful. This is a very valuable learning experience right here. Same thing that happened on UAVS that one day. Look at that. Boom. What happened? Why did it drop like that? That's what you have to be careful. That's why I like to limit my risk in the stock market. Limit my risk in the stock market. I like to just go boom. Look at this. Down, 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 down to the depths. Down, down, down to the depths. No bounce, no bouncing. No bouncing for this one. Last week, I told you about PYX, Racer X9. Thank you, ma'am. I do write down a lot of the things you guys are talking about. So it looks like GNUS is out of the game, uh, out of the game. Hit a home run down to the ground. Uh, whoever set that up, set it up just nice and pretty, ma'am. Nice and pretty. Sold it right on down. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Went up, went down. I wish I would have been watching. I didn't have a lot of time this morning in the pre-market. FRSX is coming back around. Here we go. Add, add, add. Boom. They, they've been coming down a little bit. The VWAP, there's a lot of changes happening in the market lately. So the VWAP may not be as important pretty soon, or it's always going to be important, but day trading low flow small cap stocks there's there i think there's some changes coming up but we got this we're going to stay ahead of the pack just like usual the monkey army we know where we're going we're going all the way up ma'am good morning whiz ruler danny peeper nightcrawler motion chris and mr nice racer x9 daryl hickman justin platt q and q everybody danny joe uh, everybody think Vincent, thank you. Wise Ruler, thank you guys for being here today. If I missed your name, you guys know I see you. I hear you. I know you are there. Even the ones that ain't talking, BMRA is also moving right now. BMRA. 
I, I wanted to tell you guys about the stocks I traded this morning. I traded BMRA this morning. BMRA, I kind of got wrecked on BMRA, but I took a couple different trades. I took a trade right here. I think, uh, oh, let me just blow up my trades right here real quick. I'm going to show you all of the trades I took. Okay, show trades, boom, apply, okay. So anyways, I ended up buying uh, two shares at $10. It dropped super hard. I ended up adding to my position, had a 950 average. I sold one of those shares at, ni at 967 for plus 17 cents. And then I sold one share at 938 for plus minus 12 cents. So basically just a break even trade on that one. Then I bought one share right here at $8.64. I had an $8.44 risk. I was going to sell half of my shares at $8.84, which I did. And then I thought this was going to go up towards $10. But I only bought one share, so I only could step out of this one one time. Another trade I took happened on HAPP. HAPP, a loser. HAPP, boom. HAPP, I ended up losing $0.16. Cents. I bought two shares at $3.08. I sold those shares at $3 for minus $0.08. Cents. So that was another stock I traded. I also traded IO. So IO, I traded too. So IO, I bought two shares at $3.02. I added to my position at $2.75. I can't remember what my average was. I think it was $2.88 or something. And I stepped out for break even. And look, I, I really thought this was going to go up towards $3.50. That's why I entered this in the first place. But then it kept coming down and came into my drop fake and pop boom. So I added, but I just wasn't confident again that it was going to get close to the 350. So I ended up stepping out. Anyways, those were my trades. Every single trade, I want to show you all the way to $1 million. All the way to $1 million. And we've been getting a lot of new people here recently. So I just want you guys to know what you're seeing in front of your very eyes is my one minute chart, five minute chart, 15 minute chart, level two, time and sales, and this is my active trader, where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. And, and what's on my chart, that purple line on my chart, that's the VWAP. The blue line on my chart is the 9 EMA. And if you ever see a yellow solid line on my chart, that means it's a daily support resistance line, uh, one I found off the daily chart. If you see a yellow dotted line on my chart, yellow dotted line on my chart, that means it's a... Uh, a yellow dotted line is the intraday support resistance. If you ever see an orange line on my chart, that means it's a pre-market high, the pre-market high. Look at GNUS, man. What a wreck. What a wreck, man. What a wreck. Uh, Monkey Tiva on watch. Oh, Tiva's on watch also, T-E-V-A. I really don't trade that one too much. I uh, RDM, thank you, man. No, but Tiva is on watch. That's a good one. Thank you for saying that. P-I-X-Y news on T-O-S. P-I-X-Y has news too. I'm going to keep this one on watch. I've traded this one. Why don't I have this one down? I have it somewhere. Where is my P-I-X-Y one? P-I-X-Y. 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 When did this run last time? Let's see when this ran up last time. Oh, it was right there. On what day? 4.15. On 4.15, man. 415, 415, 415, P-I-X-Y, P-I-X-Y, P-I-X-Y. Yes, this one is on watch. I do like this one also. P-I-X-Y is another good one. So I'm going to look. I'm going to keep MDGS even on watch. But P-I-X-Y, maybe that's going to be a good one. I don't really have a clean look at the market today. And I've already started over trading. I'm not supposed to be trading in the pre-market. And I already did. I already traded in the pre-market, man. I'm over trading today. Today's going to be a tough day, I think, in the market. But FRSX, this one may be my top, top stock right here. Let's put the pre-market high, which is 125. 125 edit properties. I put this in an orange dotted line. If you guys don't know, orange dotted line, the pre market high. Boom, right like that. Perfect. Ouch, monkey. Mark on. Hi, I'm new sub. And what stock broker do you use? I use TD Ameritrade, is my broker. And Thinkorswim is the trading platform that TD Ameritrade has and made and I use. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, man. Shame on you. Thank you. Yes, shame on me for over trading. 
TTPH, oh yeah, TTPH also. I don't like this one. I see this, there's so many short sales today. I, every single stock I'm looking at, it looks like the easy money is on the short side. There's going to be so many short sales today. It's going to be unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. But remember, I thought that on CARS yesterday also, you could have captured CARS on the short side. And I watched a couple videos where someone actually did catch it on the short side. You know who that is, who I watch sometimes. <laughs> Boom. But anyways, uh, uh, CARS, I think today maybe the easier money is on the short side today also. I'm trying to keep my eyes, I'm trying to keep my mind open and keep what's going on. Oh, look at I O. Oh, here we go, man. So if I, sh I, I, I was going to say I was short selling at 320. Maybe this is a long trade. Remember what happened to CARS yesterday? I changed bias. And I when I changed bias, I started taking winning trades on CARS, which was good, good, good. Good, good, and good, man. Gratitude. Gratitude is the word of the day today. Gratitude. I'm very gracious. I'm very gracious. Is gracious and gratitude the same word? Who knows, man? <laughs> who, who knows? Look at that, man. I had a great entry on this thing. I added right here. This was my last add on this was right there at 277. 277. Look at that. That or two, 270 something. And look at that. I just did not feel comfortable. And that was my profit target was up towards the 350s right there. Perfect. Nice and beautiful. Perfect. Nice and beautiful. Uh oh. What's happening with WTRH, man? You guys know this is a food delivery one. So, so we're. So in the market today, there's a lot of different weird stuff going on. So I'm going to be a little bit more patient out the market open unless I see a clean, clean play. And I'm probably not going to trade right away, right away for the first three. I don't know. Maybe I will. You guys know I do it all the time. <laughs> WTRH also. But okay, so I'm going to put this up on a chart at WTRH. WTRH, IO is still moving. So IO, I guess, is the top stock right now. IO, 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 IO. Why is IO moving? Good morning, D Dave G77. Good morning, Monkey Man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. We got this. You guys know what we do here every day. There ain't nothing new. There ain't nothing different. That We're doing the same game plan every single day. What I look for is the open washout boom. The drop fake and pop boom. The shake and shudder now. The shake and shudder is part of my situation. And buy the dip, sell the rip. Uh, buy the dip, sell the rip. The first pullback and a range trade and the VWAP test. That's what I look for each and every day. Every single day, that's what I'm going to trade. Uh, IO sales jump 53. Oh, that's right. They jump 53%. Thank you. Born 100 years late. Just said it. IO jump 53%. Good morning, AU Job. Good to see you around this joint, man. Trading Monkey, uh, Roland B. Could you guys please hit the like button real quick, man, before we get going for the market open? Look how beautiful this is. If you have shares to short on IO, possibly, maybe there's going to be a long trade. If it happened to get over the 351s, let's see what it has above this. Let's see what's above 350s. I guess 350s, it could keep going. But look back here, it only went right to $3. $3, so it's right up to my next daily support resistance line. I guess possibly up towards this area, the 407. And maybe above that, the 466, 466 right there, 462, 462, who knows, man, who knows, man, I, I, I think this is a short sell, though, I would have started a position at 320, I would have added at 340, and then I would add at 360 or 370. So that would have been my ads, and I would have a 330 average right now. A 330 average, where would I take profit? Down towards the 310s for 20 cents profit right there. WTRH is going down. What else is moving here? TTNP also is moving. This one, according to Yahoo Finance, TTNP has a 93.1 million float. 93.1 million flow. So basically, I don't have no clean game plans going out the market open. Nothing, nothing, nothing. IZEA, self-made Smith, dip and rip. IZEA, let's look at that one. I, I don't really trade IZEA. I used to. 
but I haven't for quite some time. I-Z-E-A, dip and rip. Good job, self-made Smith. What a drop fake right there. Boom. But this one looks like a classic bear flag short sell. It's already ran up a couple days, hasn't it? Yeah. It's ran up this day. It's ran up that day. So it looks like it's going to come down, come back up to this resistance around the 55 cents and people may short sell into that. You could keep a tight risk, but maybe it's going to go up. Maybe it's going to go towards 80 cents or something. But there's a couple different sorts of looks on that. That open washout boom was beautiful though. That open washout boom was beautiful. Here's FLSY. No, FLSY. I oh man. I oh look at that. 320. So I would have actually got my profit right there at 320 or 310, I guess. 310. How do you see the average change uh, price change per minute? I just I, I just watch right here. I watch the time and sales. I watch the level two and I like to watch the five minute chart. You guys can't see it probably that good because sometimes I keep it stretched out the five minute chart, but I can see this pretty good. There's a lot of five minute setups that also uh, correlate to the one minute chart to the one minute chart and plus the 15 minute chart. I really haven't been paying attention to that too much. I may switch that to the hourly chart. To the hourly chart i've been i've been messing around with the hourly chart also so wtrh is doing open washout boom basically wtrh there it is boom 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 wtrh what are we oh oh we have we have two a minute and a half until the market opens i have no idea what i'm gonna watch i have no idea what i'm gonna watch ttph TTPH, GNUS, no, GNUS, TTNP. TTNP is my, is this my top stock? No, TTNP is not my top stock. I don't know. I really have no clue today. I, I think I'll just stay with IO and see what this one's going to do. I think I'll just stay with IO. And if anything else really starts moving, I guess I'll go over there. Watch FRS. Oh, yeah, FRSX. Let's watch FRSX. This is it. This is going to be it probably. Okay, we have about 30 seconds till the market opens. I'm going to take a deep breath. And I'm going to take a drink of coffee. Let's relax. I'm going to try to talk quiet today. I'm looking for this to get up towards the 115, the 117, and do a little pullback right here into the 110s. And I'll catch it and I'll sell up towards 125, half of my shares, possibly. Or the open washout boom if it washes down. But no, I won't do the open. Ding, 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 ding. The market is open. The market is open. TTNP, TNXP is another one on watch. IO is moving. IO is going. IO, 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 IO. Look at this thing. Going to the moon parabolic. IO is going. FRSX is starting to move a little bit. FRSX. Look at this, all the way up to $4, man. All the way up to $4, FRSX. Let's get back over there, FRSX. I, oh, maybe that one's going to go up, but I think it's coming back down. So anyways, I, oh, all, went all the way up, man. I, all, all the way up. Where is my I, oh, on my chart? I don't have it. WTRH did the open washout boom right there. Uh, IO is all the way up over $4. So maybe, man, I totally missed that gap and go on IO. A gap and go. GNUS, WTRH, and uh, FRSX is moving a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to try it right here at 106. At 106, I'm going to try it. 106. I'm going to try to sell into the 116s. 106. 106. I'm trying to anticipate the uh, the power in this. Maybe it's just going to come down. Maybe it's just going to come down. I'm going to keep a tight stop of 97 cents of a dollar. I'm going to keep a tight, tight stop right here. I'm trying to anticipate the breakout, but who knows? Maybe it's just coming down. This This ain't really a clean, clean trade right here, but I'm trying to get in before the break this time. Before the break, IO seems to have a lot of the volume right there. I.O. I.O. seems to have a lot of the volume. G.N.U.S. is also pushing. I.O. Maybe that is the one. I.O. Let's look at this. Man, $4, 4 to 5, 44 shares. 
30, here we go, IO, FRSX, IO, IO, okay, here we go, um, four dollars, I'm kind of looking for this to do a little pullback right here, what's going to happen, what's going to happen, boom, 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 397, 407. I'll try to take profit at 407, 397. I'm trying to take a really quick trade on this. 397, 407, 407. Come on, 404, 402, 405. Boom, uh, first trade, a green trade on IO, just a little scalp trade in between that range right there. Sure, I should have sold some of my shares, half of my shares right there, but that's a good little trade to me. A good little trade. Here we go. So IO has good, good volume on it. A good, good volume. FRSX is looking a little sketchy right here. So it looks like it's probably going to come down. Probably come down right there. Okay, so 97, 99. Man, this one is not good. Man, that's why I do not trade this low volume. Do you see IO has all the volume right there? I, oh, 96, 96, 96, okay. 96, 96, 96. Oh, man. So, I, O is moving super good. I, O. So, let, let's stay over with I, O real quick. I, O. I, O. I, I'm going to keep an eye on FRSX, but I'm going to watch I, O as the main one. I can't believe how far this squeezed right here, though, man. GNUS, boom. GNUS is all the way back to a dollar. Even buying that washout, that huge washout down to 60 cents right there. That is crazy. Look at this thing. Here we go. Look at that, man. I should have held on all the way up to 420. Good volume. This is the stock we need to get a hold of. This is it, man. This is it. BMRA going down. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this, man. All the way up. What am I looking for? Another little pullback probably into the four tens or maybe the four dollars, four dollars something. I want this to get up a little bit higher. FRSX looks like FRSX. Boom, boom, boom. Sell market. I'm getting out of this. I'm getting out of FRSX. It's too slow for me to trade. Too slow for me to trade that one. FRSX, maybe it's going to come back up, but I, I don't like it. It's way too slow. Way, way too slow. Maybe it will curl around though right there. It could curl around and it could keep going. $4, 4 $4.17, $4.15, $4.15, $4.15, $4.15, $4.15, $4.15, $4.15, $4.15, $4.15, $4.15, $4.15, $4.15, $4.15, $4.15, $4.15, $4.15, $4.15, $4.15, $4.
Bum, bum, bum. 396, 396, 396. Thank you guys for being here today. It's looking a little sketchy right here. Maybe I just bought the very, very tippy top, but that's okay too. I'm probably going to get out for break even. 380s. Oh man, 380s. Come on, get down there one more time right there. 380s. 380s. Man, I missed it. I missed that little ad right there, that 387, 388. It only touched it for a heartbeat right there. CARS is pushing up, something maybe you could short into. CARS is pushing up a little bit. TTPH is all the way up to 252 in a halt. TTPH is in a halt all the way up to 252. I do have a, uh, so that one's looking super good too. TTPH, man, some stocks are moving today, so that's good. That is good. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. I, oh, I, oh, man. TTPH is in a five minute halt right there. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. 10 squeeze lower than bounce, done for uh, for, for day, uh, gap and go on IO was good. Man, I should have been at IO. I thought FRSX was going to be something, but did you see how low of, uh, how low uh, volume that was? On those low volume ones, those are just garbage, garbage, garbage. If this does not push through this, this is going to be a big problem for me. It could come all the way down to 350s. Could come all the way down to 350s, man. All the way down. It needs to get over that 407, 408, 409, 410 area. 407, 408, 410. Let's go. Let's go, ma'am. Remember to always trade your own plan and plan your own trade. FRSX got me pretty darn good right there. So TTPH, we're going to watch right out of the hole. TTPH is on earnings too, isn't it? TTPH, I can't believe that thing just busted straight over the pre-market high right there. Right on over. Come on, man. Get up there, 410. 410, whoa, trying to get held down hard. If this thing squeezes through, it's probably going to 450. 450, I'm actually going to put my sell order up at 420 now, or 422, or I'm just going to hold it right now. I'm going to hold because I, I, I may try to hold this one a little bit longer if it gets over it. It may not get over it. It may just come straight down, and that's okay too. I, I need to start stepping up my game a little bit. Stepping up. There we go. 410. That 410 is trying to hold it down super duper hard right there. Super duper duper hard. Let's go. Thank you for subscribing, Alan. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here. We're going all the way to $1 million day trading our plan. Trading our plan. TTPH somewhat looks like a short sell right out of the halt, but I don't know. I, I don't know that one. Some of these stocks have been doing the total opposite that I've been thinking, that I've been uh, looking at. 410, 429, 435, 435, 435, 435, 435. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, man. <laughs> Let's do this. So there's some stocks. This one, usually I like to trade in between these little ranges, but this time I'm holding for a breakout. I'm trying to hold for a little bit of a breakout today because I, I kind of like the volume on this thing, but there's a whole bunch of consolidation going on. When this thing picks its direction, uh, it's probably going to wash or it's going to go. It's going to go super fast one way or the other, man. I, oh, I could take a loss here, but that's okay. That That's all risk management. I need to start stepping up to the plate a little bit. Stepping up to the plate and getting our money. GNUS, I can't believe that. Uh oh, here we go. 390s. 385, 385. 394, come on. Oh, man, I could not. Oh, here it comes. Come on down, man. So TTPH, when that one comes out of the halt, we're going to see what happens. We'll see what happens right there. 
HTTP8. So I'm looking for IO. I'm watching and listening. Thank you, man. Remember to always trade your own plan, plan your own trade. It ain't that serious that when you're trading, when you're a beginner trader, the smaller you start, the better it will be because then you're going to learn. You'll get comfortable in some of these trades. Even if this washes out and I lose 20 bucks, I'm already up about 50, 60 bucks for the week already. So it ain't, it ain't, I mean, since May, for May already. So I need to start trying to get one of these bigger winners right here. 433, 433, boom. Here we go, 411. It just busted through the 410s. Is this going to make it? it? Sometimes they do this fake out breakout right before it falls down, or it may just keep going. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Man, I should have put my shares right there. There we go. I sold some of my shares right there. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I sold some more shares right there. At... Boom. <laughs> boom. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Gratitude. Gratitude, man. Look at it grow. Boom, boom, boom. Killed it. Killed the market. I wish I would have got that ad right there. That would have been a beautiful ad. TTPH, a beautiful short sell. It could be a good long trade now down there. TTPH, but I think it may come down to the 220s. Look at, uh, look at, I, oh man, what a monster. I, I wish I would have left my sell order at 435. See how I second guessed myself. I was trying, I held on a little bit longer this time. I held on good. Boom, boom, boom. We killed it, man. I, oh, I, oh, we're, we're killing the market. We're doing it. We're getting our money. At first, I thought this was a short sell. Then it turned into a long trade. You got to really get in there and you got to try to get your money. TTPH has good volume too, I think. TTPH. And it came out of that hole. Let's look at it real quick. I just want to see what's happening. Look at that. That first pull back into the pre-market high. A little range trade right there. But it does have that over its head. Let's go, man. Let's go. The Penny uh, Pablo Show. Good job, man. The Penny Pablo Show. Good. Welcome to the channel, man. Dang, I got out I, 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 I too early. But I'll take it. Chris Newton. What a beautiful setup, man. Beautiful setup. Beautiful trade. This is what we're looking for. This is what we're trying to get right here. So on FRSX, I lost $5 though, but that's okay. I made $10 on, on IO. So anyways, I need to put my two trades in there. I keep forgetting about my, uh, my first trade was red. My second trade was green. My second trade was green. There we go. I got my two. I got two, my two check marks in there. Uh, congratulations, monkey man. Boom, boom, boom. What a great trade. It could have went. Oh, TTPH, ma'am. Sorry for yelling again. Sorry for yelling. TTPH is going. Some of these stocks on these earnings are just incredible. I didn't realize how much power these things had sometimes. So the next level up towards the 320s. So this is a two to three dollar stock, two seventies, seventy shares, fifty shares. Let's go. Let's get this show on the road. IO looks like it's slowing down, maybe a hair to me. So I'm gonna look for this one. Where am I looking for it? I'm looking for a pullback into the 260s, the 275 maybe, or maybe uh, I may get in for the break of the three right here. May get in for break of three. Or wait, let, let me wait. I, I wait for pullback, so I'm not going to jump in on that. That thing's way too, too stretched out. But some of these things, look how far it went back here in five minutes. That thing went 270, 275. Maybe I'll try it real quick. IO is still moving good, though. This one has good volume also. So there's IO you probably could take a trade on. Or maybe TTPH, which is moving super fast. Everything's going. Everything's looking good. You could take a quick little washout right there. Four dollars to drop fake right there. Four dollars to four ten. Four dollars to four ten right there. But oh well, four dollars to four ten. Four twenty. Four twenty. 
four dollars to 420 man this thing is just powering powering 80 it came down to 80 i should have took it at 80 man should have took it at 80 here we go boom up again up 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 rtw joe silva says rtw is moving some of these stocks man cars turned into a beautiful beautiful short sell right there it, it came up just enough for you to get a hold of it just enough to get a hold of CARS. Perfect, man. On weakness. Perfect weakness one. Perfect weakness. Oh, man. That was good. Some Sometimes these go a, a day longer than you think they're going to. That's what I'm starting to notice, too. Look at this. I can't even get in. This TTPH is going all the way up. IO is all the way back down right now. IO, IO. Thank you guys for being here. Should I invest now on IO? You got to remember to trade your own plan, plan your own trade. I, I would have almost tried it at $4, but I would still be adding. I would add down into the 350s, but that's just me. That's just me because then I would look to get out for break even. But that's just how I would play that. Remember, you always have to trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Look at that, 330. All the way up, all the way up. 267, 270. I may take a washout for a quick pop. May take a washout for a quick pop here. Wash out for a quick pop. Or maybe the $3. Maybe I should try the $3 right here. If I tried the $3, it'd have to be less share size, though. $3, $3. Would have to be less share size. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I thought I heard something. I thought I, it looks like I get to start blocking people. <laughs> Should I invest now? Oh my gosh. Let's stop that. You can't do that, man. Uh, Ru, you got to do what you want. You know that. Sorry, guys. Sorry for that. Uh, Ru Pam, you can't be doing that, man. You can't be hiding. You can't be putting all that up there. T-M-U-S, somebody saying. T-M-U-S is somebody saying. I like T-T-P-H. If I got in at three, I would have took my first profit about 312 right there. So I would have already had a green trade if I would have took that right there. But here we go. $3 looks like it's trying to build support really good right there. But sometimes it will wash through really quick. So anyone that's in at three will probably add at 270s. So that's where I'm going to look to get in first. But nope, it looks like it's just going straight on up again. Straight on up, ma'am. 360, I'm trying to post bouncers. I'm trying to post bouncers. Uh, yeah, Torque Daddy, I hear you, man. <laughs> Killing TTP HP in 246, sold 290. Good job, man. Good, good job. 295. I'm going to start with half share size right here. Or wait. Boom. 294. I'm getting in at 294. I'm just taking a little scalp trade right here to 304. Or actually, I'll sell some of my shares at 294. If it comes down to 268, I will add 268. I will add 30 shares. 294, 304. 294, 304. It looks like it's still coming down a little bit right here. Kind of like IO just did. IO didn't bounce at all though. But this one's kind of new. This one just started moving. So hopefully this still has a little bit of pounce in it. FRSX is moving. So it looks like it came down right to the 95 cents down there. FRSX is starting to push back up. Keep an eye on FRSX right there. Somebody's trying to hold this down at 285. Boom, being bought up, being bought up, being bought up or down. Being bought up, cancel all. 76, boom. I, I, I got another, I have 100 shares at 285 is my average now, 285, 295, I will look to get in, 295, 295, 295, I'll get out, uh, FRSX is moving a little bit, FRSX, look at this, it's starting to push now, FRSX did a bottom, look at that perfect little bottom right there, perfect little bottom, TTPH, TTPH, so my last ad, I'm going to add one more time. This is going to be a pretty uh, substantial one right here. I'm going to add one more time down here at the 260s, 250s, 240s. 260s, 250s, 240s. Thank you for subscribing, Brandon Martin. Thank you for subscribing, man. 260s, 250s, 240s. So FRSX, what's going to happen? Welcome to the channel, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. It's 284, 285, 285.
286, 287, 290, 292, 293, 293. Oh my gosh, it came right up to 293. 293. Did you see that, man? It came right up to 293. Everybody's selling right in front of me, man. What are you guys doing? Hold on, man. I should have said I was going to sell up over $3. I should have told myself I was going to sell 260s, 260s, so 250s. I will add one more time at the 250s right here. <laughs> at the 250s. Uh, you're fun to watch. Thanks, B. Valentine. Thank you guys for being here. Oh, there it is. Um, I, I added there, I have a 271 average now, 271, 281, I will, I will take all my profits at 281 if it gets up there, 281, going into a halt maybe on the downside, look at this thing, man, look at this, 246, boom, 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 259, 259, 259, well, 259, 259. Here we go, man. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. 259, 265, 259, 257, 258, 258. What is going to happen? 259. Boom, boom. I sold some of my shares right there. Boom. I'm out. I'm out. Plus three dollars. I got plus three dollars. I had to add way too deep. I had to add to the pre-market high. I had to add to the pre-market high. Took a green trade. I wasn't confident, but I was very confident in... Did you see my share size? I'm starting to try to step up my share size. And I was hanging tough. I was being brave. I put on a brave face. I did everything I needed to do. So here's what I got to do for it. It ain't going to be the big one, but it's going to be this. <laughs> so good up boom. So good up boom. Let's go, man. Monkey got out. I buy it now. It's going up. I know, Daryl Hickman. I w I was added into my elbows, man. I was into my neck into the sand pit, man. Even though, look at this. Look at it coming up. I just wasn't brave enough. I'm gonna get there. I promise you, I'm gonna get brave enough. This could have been a twenty dollar day today. I know that it could have been a forty, fifty dollar day. I know it has room all the way up to two eighty five. But anyways, boom, boom, boom. Just kidding. Good job. Thank you, Daryl Hickman. Uh, coming back to four. Yeah, this thing could come all the way back up. Look at the volume. So beautiful. The you know you know what freaked me out the first. You know you know what freaked me out is watching. IO. IO did the same move, but it ended up coming down so far. It never really bounced at the, it's basically at the same area. At, IO is at 350 and TTPH is at 250s. But the difference between this one, they're both at the pre-market high. They're both washed out to the pre-market high. I'm just very sketched out about it. Thank you for subscribing, Juan Condo. We got this. We're going all the way to $1 million day trading. Gold full small cap stocks. I can't wait for a margin account because then my money will always be back. My money will always be right there. Look at that. Look, it got out for a good little uh, break-even trade, basically. Break-even trade. I may get into this one again. I may get in. I just spent every single cent of my buying power. I went over my day's buying power already. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I did that. I owe, I owe. It's off to the bank I go. B-Y-N-D-R-O-K-U-Z-M-L-P-S-N-C-A-T-S-R-M-B-L. Let's go, man. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Let's stand up, man. Don't, don't uh, talk about it. Let's be about it. Let's not talk about it. Let's be about it. You only have one life, one chance. Born 100 years late. You know the situation, man. Let's stand up. Let's get this show on the road, man. We got this. One life, one chance. You better get in and get your money. What are you waiting for? There ain't nothing to wait for. Stand up, man. <laughs> stand up. Stand up. That's what we're coming for. We're, com we're coming to get you. We're, we're coming to get you. You know who you are. The monkey army is strong. We're coming for you, man. We are coming for you. We're coming for the top. We're coming for the title belt. We are the number one day trading channel on YouTube. 
self-proclaimed of course for uh, views for some of you that don't know that we are the number one day training channel on youtube we have the trophy to show for it so if anybody else is talking about it they uh, they don't have nothing to say there we are the number one trophy on youtube <laughs> the number one trophy i mean the number one day training channel on youtube self-proclaimed man i'm getting so excited today i was very you know why i'm so excited did you see how many shares I had of TTPH? I had 400 shares. To me, that is a, a lot. To me, that is very many, very many shares. <laughs> Boom, let's go, man. Tree Monkey, uh, is Pat mad that you took it from? Uh, nice V, I, I don't think so. I, I think he's moved on to bigger and better things. Doesn't he, he trades futures now. If he wants to come for the title, he can come for the title, but I have the trophy, so nobody can take that away from me. You know I'm a bit huge fan of Patrick Weiland. Well, Patrick Weiland, I really am a big fan of his. So anyways, but if he wants the trophy back, he's not taking He won't get it without a fight. You know that. You know that. Look at this, man. I, I was even thinking about adding right here, tell you the truth, right down, because sometimes it comes down a little bit lower right there. Look at that, man, good one. Every time I pop in here, it's we are going to 1 million. We are the number one day trading channel. Well, it's the truth. I just I just want to be totally honest and upfront and totally transparent with you. We are the number one day trading channel on YouTube. We are going to $1 million. Mark my words. Where else can you learn something? Maybe it takes you five years time, but at the end of those five years, if you could earn uh, $2,000 a day, would you do it? Yes, that's what we're doing here. That is what we are doing here. Where are the bag holders at? Stay strong or GTFO, <laughs> Nightcrawler mode. You got it, man. You got it. TTHP, I'm not real worried about this one. Even if you're still in this one, this thing has good, good volume. Good, good volume. Look at the volume on this. This thing's at least getting up to 285. Or maybe it's not. Remember to trade your own plan. Plan your own trade. This is just my opinion. Who am I saying anything? Who am I? I'm nobody. No, no, nobody. I'm nobody. I'm nobody but just another trader's trading right along aside, you guys. Right along the side, but look at that, 285. That that was going to be my profit target, 285. Was, shoulda, coulda, woulda, I know that, man. Well, you trading is a good mentor. Yep, what, however you want, man. Whatever you want to do, that's the best, man. I'm learning how to give away my money like a pro. <laughs> Roll and beat. You will get it, man. You're going to hang in there. You're going to be tough. We got this. GNPX moving up. Oh, PIXY. Remember, we were looking at that one earlier. PIXY. Let's go check it out real quick. PIXY. PIXY. PIXY right here. Boom. P-I-X-Y. Let's go. Oh, P-I. Born 100 years late. Uh, just donated to the channel. Thank you, man. Buying shares of M-N-K-Y. Expect dividend earning party soon. Born 100 years late. Just donated to the channel. You guys know I'm not a rich man. Every single dollar that comes into this live stream stays with this live stream. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. I'm not a rich man. I'm going to go, even though P-I-X-Y is moving right now, I have to stop by M-N-K-Y. 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 Let's check it out. M or that wasn't it. Thank you. You got the little uh, spinny thing. Thank you. Uh, born 100 years late. Thank you, man. I-O-I-O-N has earnings call at 10. At 10. Thanks. Uh, let, let me see what's going on around here. Uh, what well, M. M N K Y. I I tried to put M N K Y. What is this? Or or is it is those were is that like a is that by buying shares of M N K Y. I I what is that, ma'am? M N K Y. I O. Oh, I oh, I I don't know what that is. They, I have baby mamas thought I was a pro at giving away money. Then I started trading. <laughs> Roll and be. I I know the feeling, man. Uh, whatever you're about in life, you know you can get through it. The struggle is real. The struggle is growth. The struggle is how we're gonna really. That's how you live your life, man. 
every day is a struggle. The harder the struggle, the funner the life is, you know, the funner it is. That's, that's the, that's the, that's the deal right there. I, I don't know, uh, born a hundred years late. I don't know if MNKY is one of those like text things, like, you know, like LOL or something. <laughs> is that what it is? I don't know. Sipping markets. Look at PIXY is moving. TTPH is at 247. IO is at 344. Look at this, man. This thing is moving. PIXY is a good one. P I X Y. Read the read the chat. I'm trying. M N K Y is you. Oh monkey. Oh M N K Y monkey. Oh oh so, sorry. Born a hundred years late. <laughs> oh my gosh. I I didn't know. I went. Oh my gosh. Sorry man. Sorry. This is a lot more fun though. Thank you, Roland B. Oh man, it's me. I didn't even know it's me. I'm like Slim Shady, man. I'm Slim Shady. <laughs> Will the real Slim Shady please stand up, man? Here I am. Here I am. I'm right here. Sorry, man. I, I'm right here. I'm right here. <laughs> TTPH. TTPH is down by 229s right now. Better than nothing. Yes, LOL. Sorry, man. Born to, born to win, man. Born to win. Everybody's born to win. You just got to make it happen. That's all. That's all. I got to go back over to TTPH. But PIXY, I'm thinking about taking a trade on uh, taking a trade. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there we go. PIXY, here we go. 45, 100, P-I-X-Y. I'm, I'm going over my buying power today. I'm supposed to only spend 1,200 buying power each and every day, but today I went over a little bit. C-H-E-K is finally above 9 EMA on one month chart for you long-term traders. Joe Silva says, great, great look. Thank you, guys. There's so much knowledge in this channel. So much knowledge. So you see what happened. So the only difference between my short sell, I was wrong. On IO, why was I wrong? Because it went higher than I thought it was. I So I, I, I had the right opinion on IO and on TTPH. But when the momentum gets a hold of it, we need to ride the momentum up. Once the momentum's done, we can ride it on back down. That's what we got to learn from this experience right here. Look, look at TTPH, ride it all the way up. First pull back right there on the pre-market high. Look at IO, ride the momentum up, boom, all the way back down. Perfect, nice, beautiful. So at least we learned something. <clears throat> if you got stuck in a trade on either one of these, at least we learned something, man. At least we learned something. And that and that is so good. So here's P I Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I doing? Whoa. Oh man, I had my accords down there. Oh my gosh. I almost pulled out my whole situation. Night crawl in D G A Z for VWAP. In DGAZ, so some of you guys are taking some good, good trades. I like PIXY, but the reason I'm not trading PIXY, see the pre-market high, which was uh, at 820. It just pushed through the 820s, pulled back. Uh, it pushed through, did a breakout, pre-market high breakout, gap and go basically or whatever after a stretch out. I just don't like it right there. I think I would have to see this above the 850s, maybe to the 860s, maybe to the 870s, and then look for a pullback into the 860s or 50s. So I'm just not liking this right here. Even though this is a possibility, I, I'm just not taking it, man. Hey, Jeff, I do. I call it tons of stocks and movers and shakers. Yes. The least you can do is showing some respect. Anyone can come to the chat section and say he's making that or this. Money Monkey is doing it live. Yes, I'm doing it live on live action, man, every single day. Yes, you guys know. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for being here. I, I know some people, I, I, I have a pretty tough skin around here. So thank you, guys, for being around here. Thank you, guys, man. I, I'm okay with pretty much everything. I know who I am inside. I know who I am. I know who I stand up for. And that's all that matters to me. You guys are my friends. You guys are basically my family now. <laughs> You guys are basically my family now. So that's how I roll through life. That's how I get down. That's how I move. That's how I stand up. I know who I am and I'm going to continue on. I made it this far in life. Nothing's going to get me down now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nothing's going to get me down now. 
I made it this far. I'm here for the laughs. Doug Gleeman's here for the laughs, man. There you go. Whatever you're here for. Monkey, what platform are we looking at here? Michael Gronsky, we are looking at Thinkorswim TD Ameritrade. TD Ameritrade. Uh, okay, okay. Do you fellas need to be separated? <laughs> Roll <and> B. <be. laughs> yes. Uh, Stock Hedgehog, you're always making good calls. Much appreciated. Born 100 years late. Everybody gets their feathers ruffled every once in a while. I forgot. I took a picture of my rooster, but I forgot my little cord to plug into the computer. Uh, or not the rooster, the hen who's sitting on the eggs. The eggs still have not hatched yet. They have not not hatched. I owe... I oh I oh what's this one gonna do so I'm looking for a trade still I just can't find it right now I just don't know I don't know I oh I oh TTPH look it came down a little bit further would you keep adding to this the only reason I would keep adding to this is because of the volume. The volume tells me, okay, I'm probably going to get out for break even. If I have enough buying power, it does have some more support down by the $2. I would say $2 is my last line of defense. Pump up those likes, people. Could you guys please hit the like button? YouTube loves it, and I love it too. YouTube loves it, and I love it too. Looks like I made 10 bucks today. Looks like I made 10 bucks a day. I'm trying to step up to 20 bucks. I'm very excited how much mu how, how many shares I bought today, though. Did you see how many shares? I was in 400 shares of a $3 stock. That's a lot of money. You be you. That's how people conquer life. Uh, Paco, P.S. Yes, for sure, man. <laughs> for sure, man. I got robbed. Luke K., you got robbed today, man. Oh, in the stock market. Some days, you guys know, if you have a losing day, it ain't nothing you can't overcome. But you just need to step into the same puddle you stepped in last time. Because the stock market is very good at trying to make you feel bad about yourself. About why did I do this? Why did I do that? It didn't work this time. It worked last time. But you just need to continue straight on through. The stock market's going to do whatever it wants to do. But you just need to keep on, keep on, keep on, keeping on, man. <laughs> keep on, keep on, keeping on. Keep on, keep on, keeping on. Yes, for sure. You guys know, you guys know. Stock Hedgehog, why you listen He to random people here in chat, including yourself? He is doing his way and he will keep, yes. I'm just going to trade my plan and plan my trade. That's how I trade. I, I have my stats into my trades. I know maybe it doesn't look the cleanest for a lot of people, but this is how I trade. This is how I found to make money. And I believe if you found a way to make money in the stock market, why change something that is not broken? Sure, you can you can update it and fix it a little bit and try to capture a little bit more profits. But right now, I just want to be strong in my conviction into each one of my trades. And I was pretty strong in my conviction into the TTPH trade. Because did you see how deep I stepped into that thing? I was really, I was pretty strong. I was going to get out for at least a break-even trade. And now look at TTPH coming back up right there. I'm getting used to the prostate exam. It doesn't hurt anymore, Roland B. <laughs> Good morning, bro. Love you, live channel. Thank you, Evil. Thank you guys for being here every day. So what we're going to, I hate to say this all the time because this has nothing to do with anything or the stock market really. But soon when I get, when we get big, when we're starting to make big, big money, you're going to see some crazy stuff around here. I'm really going to step up. I'm going to spread this out. I, I We're going to do good things. We're going to do good things for many, many people, man. We're going to we're going to try to make a, a big deal out of this. We're going to try to rise. We're going to come up, man. We're coming up. Hassan Osman, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys for subscribing. GG. Hassan, welcome to the channel, man. What you're seeing in front of your very eyes, my one minute chart, five minute chart, 15 minute chart, level two time sales is my active trader. Sorry for talking so fast. I did not mean to talk so fast. I'm trying, I'm going to slow down a little bit and relax. A deep breath, anyone? Yes. <laughs> Let's take a deep breath. Stock Hedgehog is saying, uh, you guys know, Stock Hedgehog always has some great stocks. F-S-L-Y, S-E-R-V, and T-W-L-O, T-W-L-O. Got it, watching now for a uh, scalp, Joe Silva. Watching now for a scalp, Joe Silva. Where, where, uh, Joe, oh, C-H-E-K. C-H-E-K is also moving, C-H-E-K. 
So there's a lot of there's a lot of stocks moving. Oh, now I make great calls. <laughs> Uh, Stock Hedgehog, you you know the situation, man. Yeah, I love having you here. It's great to have you here. FRSX is starting to move. Uh, don't count that one out. FRSX, FRXX. I'm gonna get my money back out of this thing. Uh, look at it. If this thing can get back over this 110, maybe yeah, about the 110. Come back a little bit, maybe about the 113, and then come back into the 108s. I may take a trade on this one. TTPH is moving. I don't know the situation. Stock Hedgehog doesn't know the situation. The situation is, here's the situation. I know you make some good calls. You have some great looks at the market. I understand that. And the situation is that maybe I'll go look at it and maybe I won't. That is the situation right there. I, hopefully that works for you. It works for me. I hope it works for you, for you too. What is wrong with me today? I'm getting a little bit feisty in the situation. Settle down. Gratitude is king. How you making names red? How you making names red? I, I don't know. It, it's just the color. It's the color right there. It, if it's green on the day, it will be... Uh, if it's up on the day, it will be green. If it's down on the day, it will be red. And it's just in the settings. It, it should be automatic. I think it's the default settings actually right there, the default settings. So that's what that's what I try to look for through here. FLSY, look at this one, FLSY. I want to look at CARS and see how that one did. Look at CARS. What Do you think this was a short sell? Do you think this was going to go up? You had to pay attention to the days prior to this. Look at TTPH. Look at that. For the brave soldiers hanging tough and doing their thing. Is it going to see 285? Who knows? Maybe it is. Look at that trend line. Look at TTPH, man. Is a good, good one. No names on chat. No names on chat. I don't know. They're, all the names are white on chat. If you donate to the channel, sometimes it does a special thing or something. I don't know. Hang in TTPH, 265, praying. Christopher Gilson, you got it, man. I think it, it could, remember to trade your own plan, plan your own trade. This is just my look. I think it may get up to the 285s. It may even go higher. It may go to 330s. It may come all the way back down. But what I see is possibly the 280s. But maybe not, maybe, maybe not. Remember to trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Looks like 260 is trying to be bought up. We'll see if they can hold it down right there. If they don't hold it down, who knows? We're going to see what happens. So here's what, uh, man, I don't really want to open my mouth. Remember to always trade your own plan and plan your own trade. That is king. You guys know you guys know that. Okay, so I, I could have put this right here. It busted up. Uh, BMRA, uh, man, I can't put this in here yet. So let's see what's happening. I'm going to put this trend line along the bottom, though. The bottom one looks more better. The bottom one, here we go. Come on, get up there. 260, they're still trying to hold it down, but being bought, boom. Boom, 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 268, 267, 267, 268, 269, 270. Let's go, man. This thing made it, man. I could have added again. I should have added right there. Hi highlighted names on chat are reddish sometimes, and I don't know how. Wilton Forbes, I have no idea either. Don't add, please don't ask me that technical stuff. I'm just here for the stock market. I can barely turn my computer on half the time. I can, oh, I, I don't know if some of you guys haven't heard, but uh, I'm going to be getting another screen. I'm going to be getting another screen. Here you go, 280s, hopefully the 280s. Good job st uh, staying strong. Christopher Gilson, you did it, man. You did it. You you held tough. You held strong right up to the 270s, 275 right there. Who knows? Here we go. Am I going to take another trade on this thing? How many shares can I buy? I still can buy right shares. Okay, 250, 260, 250. Boom. DGAS and you guys have a good scalp opportunity. I wanted to look at CHEK real quick, just real quickly. Let's go look at it. CHEK. I guess it's moving. does have some volume today. It is moving a little bit, but TTPH is the stock of the day. TTPH. TTPH, good one. Good, good, good one. Lee Hill, how you do that? Lee Hill, how do you do that? At Wilton Forbes, at Wilton Forbes. 
Highlighted on reddish, I don't know. TTPH, nice and steady. Look at this, man. I may try to put some upward pressure on it. It, it may even go right into the $3. Look, it has, has room all the way up to the 280, 290s right there. Now, man, what am I doing right here? This is, this is looking like a beautiful setup. Sometimes I do take this setup, but a lot of times it will do this and then come right back down to this trend line right there. So if I did enter, I would probably have to add, I don't know, 274, 275. Daryl Hickman, sorry, man. Streamlabs gets out of control sometimes. It, it, it uh, timed you out for a second. Good morning. Nice catch, monkey. Thank you, Malvarez909. Thank you. Man, I did pretty good. Look at that. It got right up to where, I, this is where I wanted to take profit at. Would I have sold down here and got scared out? I doubt it. I doubt it. It's very hard to scare me out of a trade anymore. Only on the profit side. Do you notice I can hang super tough on, on into a losing trade, but into my winning trades, I always cut myself short. I'm working on that right now. Let's hit that 200 likes, guys. Please hit the like button. Could you guys please hit the like button? Yesterday, we got 204. I, I believe we got 240 likes. Almost 250 likes right there. Almost 250. I trade you guys, D gas, U N G daily. Nightcrawler motion. When I, when I go to trade net or when I open a trade net account, I'm always gonna have a thinkorswim account also. But when I open a trade net account, I, I'm probably gonna be trading some of the the same uh, a little bit higher price stocks and a bit a little bit higher float stocks. I'll probably be, you'll probably be seeing the same names. I'll be trading probably about the same names every day. Some of those stocks you can get very familiar with and they'll move up, they'll move down, earnings, this, news, that, whatever. You guys know all the whole situation. 280, right to the 280s right there. I thought maybe it would go a little bit higher, but 280s is good. Wilton Forbes, you, you see color because it's addressed to you. Oh, if it's addressed to you, you see color. Zero three, welcome to the channel, man. Zero three. Oh, did I took? Oh, I took one more trade. It was basically a break even, but I'm gonna put it as a green check mark. I took three trades today. Remember, I took this added into my position, added into my position. I forgot to put that there, but anyways. So GNPX. I don't know if that one might do something. GNPX. TNPX, what is going to happen with TTPH? I just don't see none none of my clean setups. I kind of would need to, my setup would happen up here. It would, it's, there's, it's too tight. It's too tight for my setup to even happen. So, so my next trade would have to be basically a range trade buying off of the support. And to me, the support is down by the 240s right there. So 240s up to the 250s, 260s. But just even that trade's a little sketchy because of the 250 right there. So there's not really a clean, clean A plus setup to me. But it's it's kind of it's it's just right in between some weird spots for me. Even right here, sometimes I will take that trade though too, right there. But I just can't do it. Lee Hill, is this red now? I'm looking for TTPH to come back down to the 240-ish and consolidate and look for high a day run. Yes, Paul DeBall, that seems like a great, great plan. If the volume stays there, that's what I'm kind of looking for myself a little bit. The same thing you're looking for. Let me look at T uh, W R T H. Look at this one. Man, this one did give you a good move right here. Look at that. It, hindsight is easy to see. Hindsight is super easy to see. Look at this. WRTH. Man, I, I miss WRTH could have been a good trade for me. Look at 285s. There you go. Way, way to stay strong. Way to stay tough, man. IO looks good to me. IO has low, low volume. That one is dead, dead to me. Daryl Hickman looks good to me. Y310 is previous breakout and it's got room to the VWAP. Daryl Hickman says, good look on that one. Good look. That could be a great, great look. That That's basically what I look for too is that VWAP test. I just, uh, the volume does look okay right there. Man, I cannot, but, whoa. Oh man. Okay. Sorry, man. I, my cords are all wrapped up. Yesterday I had to come back. I was trying to mess with my stream deck and I left all these cords out there and I keep catching my feet on them. 
Look at that, the 290s, 285. TTPH, sorry man, it's not gonna go up, Paul the ball. It's too late now. Now if it goes up, now if it comes down, I just don't like it as much, but look at this, extend to the right. Maybe now the 26, man, that was a good one. Good, good, good one right there. Good one, look at that, perfect profit target. Way to stay strong, what well, maybe you're holding on longer. I don't know how high it would go, but I, I don't know. Is it gonna bust high a day? Possibly, I guess. Guess, guess, guess. Yes, $145 profit on TTPH today and out. Chris and good job, man. You guys are killing it, man. Runner, runner, frontline media, what? Runner, runner. Oh my God, that was scary, man. Wow, got out at 285. Woo, Christopher Gilson, beautiful trade right there. That's a beautiful trade. You, If the volume, if the volume dries up, kind of like FRSK, you kind of know it's not. It's probably not the safest time to stay in a trade like that. Probably not too safe. But on a stock like TTPH now, on the other hand, now this one has good volume. Good, good volume. Good volume. Good volume. Just going higher and higher and higher right here. Higher and higher and higher. Honestly, had zero faith in that. Christopher Gilson, that was good. You, you held tough. That was my profit target right where you sold at. That was my profit target right there, right the exact same spot. But I, I got out at my break even spot right there. FRSX is testing VWAP. Vincent says, Vincent says FRSX. Yes, Paul DeBald, we missed the move, man. I, I guess you could have took it right there, especially if you drew this line right here. Look at this over those tops. You still could have even took it right here over that little breakout 280s to the three dollars. But the three dollars was over its head. These were all just super tight, tight spots. I couldn't, I, I couldn't see the risk. It was too much risk for. I wasn't sure if it was going to do that or not. What was going to happen? I, I could see it getting to the two eighties though. But that was after all this garbage down there. But all the way up. That's tough move right there. Tough move. Extend to the right. Remove drawing. Boom. I need to get in this thing. Night crawl motion 1030. Market sprint coming soon. 1030. Market sprint coming soon. About eight minutes until 1030, man. Eight, eight minutes till 1030. So we'll see what's happened. I keep seeing this uh, T D R D I R V. So this was a sub dollar stock. Has some good volume, I guess. I don't know about that one. W T R H. WTRH, man, I wish I, I, this one just is kind of moving a little bit slow for me too. Okay, I'm going to put in my line now. I'm putting it in. Now, here we go. Boom. I'm putting in this trend line. We're going to see what happens. It's going to come right to this point, extend to the right. Here we go. Here we go. Starting to build that little triangle right there. We see this happening all the time. Up and down. Is it going to break out over it? If it breaks out over it and then uses $3 as support, I may get in. I, I'm not feeling confident, so I'm just going to take a little practice trade here. Not yet. Not yet. I wanted to get up to like the 318s and then come back down to the $3. If it goes up to 318 and then the $3 right there. So we'll see. Boom. It, it broke 306. Yes. Can you believe that? It went all the way back up to 306. What a beautiful good trade. Beautiful good trade. So if it did come up a little bit further, I, I probably would get in this. But it looks like maybe it will test the bottom end now, or is it going to keep going up? I don't know. FRSX, uh, look at FRSX. It dropped straight on down, that thing. Uh, it needed to get, I, I, I had a game plan for that. I wanted it to see it above the 110 to about 115, and then come back down to 110, 108, and then I would get in. But I anticipated, I anticipate, every time I anticipate, it never works out. I should have waited for my entry. Waited, waited for my entry. Bad, bad situation. It's okay. Live and learn. Live to fight another day right there. Primetime DJs, do you have it shared? They're storm traders. Storm traders, good to see you, man. Sold t two thirds of TTPH from dip by 228 to 292, holding the rest for the break. Storm traders, great trading, man. That's a great, great trade. You bought it right down. That was a perfect 
uh, get got get you got it you get got got it you get got got it down there 250 ish entry coming 250 ish entry yeah this is another trade i used to take like down yeah right where paul debault saying down by the 250s down by the 250s is that gonna it looks like a classic right there it looks like a classic and you would have a tight risk i guess would you use the low a day or just underneath that Let's go. I, I, I'm going to step up. I, I, I took a big share size. I need to continue on. I If I'm going to take big share size, I just need to continue on with that. I O I O is all the way down now. I O. Can you believe that thing? I, I thought 350 was the top for I O, but it busted right through that went all the way up another dollar before it came all the way back down. TTPH, TTPH. TTPH 305 man this thing just keep is a powerhouse man it keeps going up up and up I want to see it go I O making a reversal get in I O maybe it is making a reversal it is right down on that three dollar that support right there I, I'm not gonna take that trade but that I guess that looks like an okay trade maybe 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 man this thing so where if if people are shorting right here, they'll probably add in a little bit higher. But what if it came down? What if you were short right here at three dollars? Where would you cover at? I would try to cover at two fifty or two sixty, two fifty or two sixty. Or where would your stop be? Uh oh, I did it again. Oh man. Okay, here we go. Here we go, man. Let's do this. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for being here. I, I'm trying to think about a trade right here, but I'm waiting, waiting, and waiting. 318, 318 right there. 317. If it touches 317 and pulls back, possibly. GNUS testing VWAP. So since I'm saying it, it should drop bad. <laughs> Vincent, I know that sometimes you feel like that, man. Sometimes I feel like that when I go, oh man, looks like a great entry. I get in and it drops right down. I go, why didn't I just wait one second longer? But you just got to continue on going. Dang, the V happened on TT. Yes, TTPH. It just busted over the whole situation right there. Over the whole situation, 317, 317, 293, 293 to 305, 293 to 305. What is going to happen? 293 to 305. Maybe I'm buying right at the tippy tippy top, but it's okay. Uh, maybe I'll take a few less shares. Actually, I'll take 25 shares. 25 if it comes back down man i need it to come back down a little bit to come back down boom come on ah oh. man i missed it it came down to 308 i'm kind of waiting for that 308 three dollars three dollars 308 I'm try I'm trying at 308. I'm getting in at 308. I'm going to sell up over the 330s. Maybe it's just going to come down. Maybe it's just going to come down to 296 or something. I'm okay with that 308. 308. So I'll take my first shares at 318. 318 I'll take my first profit just like usual. Uh some of my shares right there. 25308 get in before it pops i know sometimes sometimes i'm buying right here at the resistance but it's looking so tough looking so strong looking so strong man 313 314 3 come on 317 boom i sold some of my shares right there at 3 uh 318 i'll sell a couple more at 320 a couple more at 320 right there at 320 320. I sold some more at 320. Let's go. 320. Boom. <laughs> I sold it right in front of the 325s. You guys know I always sell too early. I always sell too early. Boom. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Good job all the way up. That That's where I should have sold is right over that high right there. Boom, boom, boom. 
Good trade, guys. Good, great, great trading. Great, great trading right there. It could still go up towards 350. It could break 350 easily. Easily, easily, easily. Yee Frontline Media. We were waiting for it. We seen it. We called it. We said it. We did it. We got it. We called it. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to give the big boom again. I've gave the big boom twice today already. I'm going to give it a third big boom. I'm going to give it a third big boom. <laughs> boom let's go here you go look at some of you guys that are braver are still holding on towards the 350s i would i would sell a little in front of the 350s right there look at that man boom 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 you guys got it man we got it boom three times we got it boom 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 i the big boom happened three times today we killed it no way wow christopher gilson i know but you you took your profits that's good but you could have got back in now look it's going all the way up to 350 what a beautiful setup right there that was so clean you've seen the power basically the same move that happened on cars yesterday it, you, it doesn't happen quite this often, but it's been working. The market's been doing some really strange things, believe it or not. A little bit more powerful than you think. They go an extra little mile right there. Sold too early on DGAS. Can you short on a cash account on T? Oh, Vincent, no. You can't short on a cash account. Only a margin account. Because you got to be able to borrow the shares, basically. That's what you're doing when you're short selling the market. You're borrowing shares. So you can't borrow on a cash account, but on a margin account, you bas you can. can. Look at that. That was a beautiful, good trade, guys. From three, uh, three, even 310 all the way up to three, 30 cents a share. A thousand shares right there, you just made 350 bucks. And a thousand shares on a $3 stock? Not that much money at all, man. Thousand share, three thousand bucks, man. I told you, I oh, told you, Chris said, good job, man. I owe oh, it's time. This puppy going to the fours. Storm Trader says this could go to the fours. I believe it, man. Over that three fifty, if it gets, I may take one more trade on this thing. I should have took. I should have been more brave. You guys know I always sell too early, but I always want to take my first profit. I'm tr right now. I'm trying to learn to hold a little bit longer on my last piece. I keep selling half of my position, but then I keep selling my other quarter quarter right soon afterwards. What am I doing? I need to wait. I need to wait, man. I need to wait. Tighten up the chart and look at the V pattern. Tighten up the chart. I, I don't like to tighten up the chart too much, man. I, I like it where it's at. I know some people can pull it together and pull it out. I have all my setups kind of how I do it. So other people can squeeze these charts together and it will look like this move is a lot bigger. But you you know, I mean, but I, I like to have it just how I have it. Or you can stretch it out longer and you can make it look like it's not that big a move. J.R. Smith, man, in UCAS for the bounce at 2560. Nightcrawler in motion is in UGAZ for the bounce at 2560. Great call. Thank you, Nightcrawler Motion. That's very, very brave. Thank you guys for subscribing. J.R. Smith, Donald, thank you guys. Welcome to the channel. You're with a great, great, great group of people. Where the heck is Zona J? Zona J, I don't, has Zona J been around lately? Hello, I just made 50 bucks, but that was a wild ride from 305 down to 236, then sold at 315. Uh, Mexico 21, good to have you around here, man. For a quick scalp, Nightcrawler Motion says, for a quick scalp. DGAS, I'm in at 148.56 and just sold half. Good job, guys. I'm very proud of you guys calling out those stocks right there. I saw Zona earlier. Zona was, oh, Zona, one of the original. Yeah, Zona J's been around for a while here. A lot of you guys are like uh, originals. I keep track of, I, I try to keep the best track of the subscribers and 1,000 to 3,000, or I just keep a good track. We're, we're going to do some good things. So some people will be able to help other people. We're really going to, uh, I'm really trying to uh make this grow make us do good things we're, we're gonna make our money everybody's gonna make their money day trading low flow small cap stocks but we can all learn together and we can all make our money grow man we're gonna do it we got this i'm trying to go in on a big stock cheap lewis i when i when i have a trade net account like around this time i'll also will, will be looking back and forth i'm gonna keep up my thinker swim charts 
but I'll just I'll just overlay my uh, the the trade net on my level two right here, or not on the level two, but on my buying spot. So we'll just overlay it, and then we'll look at uh, stocks. If no low flow small cap stocks are moving, then we'll look at some a little bit higher price. Money Mark, Mark, uh, Primetime DJ says M-A-R-K, M-A-R-K, ma'am, M-A-R-K. I go here when this had less than 1K sub, so don't forget about the pioneers. I know, Paco. I, I know, I know everybody. I know you guys, even the ones that ain't talking back there. I know you're here. I know you're with us. I know you're part of the team. We're going to the top. We're going parabolic. We're going to do great, great things. I would have, I wouldn't even have this live stream without you guys. I, I owe a lot of this to you. We're going to do this together. Even if I, if I was not day trading low flow small cap stocks, I would not even have a live stream. I'm just here to make the money. That's what I'm doing here. I'm showing you my journey and we're going to the top. We are going to the top. 600, uh, like, like, like. Let's get to two. Can you guys please hit the like button? YouTube loves it and I love it too. Look at this. This is doing the drop, fake, and pop boom right here. The drop, fake, and pop boom right down into the 280s. Maybe you would have to add down to the 260s possibly, but I, I don't know about this. It's moving a little slower. Welcome to the channel, Michael King. Well, welcome to the channel, man. Welcome to the channel. We got this. We're going to the moon. Nobody can stop us. We're rolling over everybody. We're always going to be ahead of the pack, man. Volume is what I'm looking for. Yes, I am with you every day to engross trading to say much. I know CBB, I know one. CBP one, I know you guys are here. I know. I don't, I, if you, I, I know, I know, I know. I swear, LOL, open for business soon, boom. I swear, yes. Uh, money talks, small or big, green is green. Yes, green is green. I've been green, I'm green almost every day nowadays. Like, 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 go, 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 guys. Once 200 like is, we will hit the big boom. I, I'm going to get the big boom uh, another time. I, I've already hit it three times today. Let, let's see how many, uh, I, I can look at how many likes we got now. Let, let's see if I can. Whoa, it's a little bright out here. Little bright. Where are the likes? Actually, I can't see the likes anywhere. I don't know where they're at, ma'am. Oh, 154 likes. We have 154 likes. Let's do this. Look at the drop, fake, and pop. Boom, right there. That 290s, man. I would take a little profit, probably up towards the 313s. 156. We have 156 likes, man. Talk about I.O. I.O. We're going to go look at I.O. pretty quick, man. 162 likes. We're moving quick. We're moving fast. Thank you guys for taking a little bit of time out of your day to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Thank you, man. Thank you. You know YouTube loves it, and I love it, too. We have 164 likes. We got this. I know you guys will push it to 200 easily, easily. 600 room, get likes over 200. Lee Hill, thanks, man. Thanks for saying that. We have 168 likes right now. If, if some of you guys just go hit the like button, it will just punch it straight up a little bit. So we're at 168, 167, it looks like. Haha, ha, monkey is a vampire. You guys saw that face with the like. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I, it was on my computer because I had uh, I pulled up a website. Look at that drop, fake, and pop, boom, right there, perfect. We have 174 likes. We only have 26 more to go. We're we're almost there, man. We are almost there. I'm gonna stay on this page and see if we make it. Maybe we'll make it. Maybe we won't. Let, let's keep looking at the stock market, though. Hopefully, some of you guys took this. Boom, right down by the $3, all the way up to $3.15. Perfect little trade right there. Great little trade. Some great money. 176, we have 24. Less than less than a quarter to go. 178. Thank you, guys. Some of you guys are just taking a little bit of time, moseying on over there, checking it out, hitting the like button. That's nice. That's good. That's clean, man. Thank you, Charlie, for subscribing to the channel, man. Thank you, man. Thank you guys for being here. I'm very excited about this. I'm going to go look at IO pretty quick, but look at TTPH. We're at 179 likes. We have 21 to go. 20 to go. 20, 20, 20. 22 go right now. 12, 19. 19. We're creeping. We're creeping on up there. 19. 19. <laughs> Sorry, man. I, I Now I'm focused. I'm laser focused on the like button now. Thank you. 181. 
anyways we're getting super close man i gotta get back to the stock market thank you guys for hitting the like button everyone stop looking at the tart and just hit the like for monkey it takes one second man <laughs> thank you joe silva 180 20 more oh 186 you guys did it you guys did or oh, 183 it says I guess some, some some gave a like and then some took it back for a second. 186, 186, 188, 12 more, 12 more. That's it. Who's going to, some of you guys are doing it, man. Thank you. Okay, so what am I looking at as a stock? I'm going to go look at IO in a minute. But TTPH gave you the perfect drop, fake, and pop. Boom, right there. 191, 193. 193 likes what we're going it's there it's it's getting there 194 boom 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 i'm getting ready I, i'm gonna get the double boom i'm gonna have to get the double boom today double double boom thank you guys team products online we made it to 200 no it's at 195 isn't it it's at 196 man we have four more left <laughs> I read an article about how monkey is actually British and only trades as monkey in the morning and the rest of the day just rakes in hundreds of thousands. <laughs> Vincent, take it easy, man. Take it easy. Rumors get wild, man. First time watching your streaming. Already like and subscribe. Beginner, wonder how to start here. I day trade with Thinkorswim, TD Ameritrade. That's the account. I use a cash account. If you're a beginner, I suggest just starting slow and learning. I think this is the best live stream out there to learn the stock market. And uh, this is it, man. You're going to learn a lot just by being here. Just by being here. 200 likes. We did it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for hitting the like button. Thank you, guys, for getting us over 200. <clears throat> Boom, boom, boom. Thank you, man. You guys, uh, man, you guys cheer up my day every single day. Just for showing up here, you guys, seriously, you guys make me happy. We're making so much money every day. Some of you guys are making some clean, clean, clean money, man. Some clean, clean, clean money. Boom. I did it. I did the double boom, man. Thank you for getting 200 likes. Thank you, man. If you guys want to hit the like button, please hit the like button. We got over 200. Yesterday, we got over 240. Thank you for subscribing, Diana. Thank you, Lionel. Or Lionel. Thank you, guys, for subscribing to the channel. Monkey is the boom. We got this, man. We got this. We're going to the top. We got this. Let's go look at IO real quick. TTPH is a little bit slow. I probably wouldn't take the... I, I don't know what's going to happen here. I, I just don't see my setup. Let's go look at IO. I oh I oh look at this thing going down. One thing I do notice about I O, according to Yahoo Finance, it has a 9.6 million flow. 9.6 million flow. Thank you, Francis, for subscribing to the channel. We have another Francis here too, Francis Dean. How do you have your screen set up as Sammy Can? I have a video if you want to go through how to set up Thinkorswim for day trading. I have a pre-market scanner. I think there's a link in the description. And I have a how to you can set yours up just like mine. I have a video on it. It walks you through the whole whole thing. <clears throat> I created a nice script for TOS and support resistant lines, channels, patterns. Primetime DJs created a nice script for TOS support and resistance. Primetime DJs, send me a message on Discord, man. Let me check it out. Uh, that's me. Oh, that's you. Francis Dean, it's about time you subscribed to the channel, man. I thought you subscribed a long time ago, didn't you? Or did you unsubscribe and subscribe back, man? <laughs> Monkey pre-market vid and TOS set vids are the best. Yes, yes, absolutely. Thanks for them, Monkey. I'm um, actually, I have another video I'm making right now, or I'm thinking about making. I, I've actually started it a little bit. Oh, Ayub Job, there, Sam. Uh, Ayub Job put up the link to that video if you want to set up your think or swim like mine. I, it's right there. It's right, right there. I just lost almost 200 to IO, jumped in too late, and the dip. Oh, man. Sorry, Purdy, 1408. It looks like, you know what it's looking like to me? It's right down in the middle of this consolidation period. Still has okay volume. So possibly it will get up to 350. Maybe it will get up over the VWAP and keep on going. I'm not sure, though. Uh, Eddie M, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you all for being here each and every day. Thank you. Th this uh, trading gets boring after a while, after you, after a while. But just being here every day just enlightens my day. Seriously, it really, really does. It really, really does. <clears throat> 
what indicator sorry for my throat my throat is hurting a little bit hopefully i don't have the virus man <laughs> hopefully i don't have the virus that ain't no joke monkey the monkey army discord and there's the monkey army discord too a hey, job just put in there anyone watching v u z i what uh Sam, sammy can what indicators do i use i the blue line on my chart is the 9 ema the blue line on my chart is the 9 ema and the purple line on my chart is the vwap the yellow line on my chart is the 20 EMA. And those are the indicators I use each and every day. Plus I find the daily support resistance lines, which are my yellow solid straight lines. And I use the one minute chart, five minute chart, 15 minute chart, level two time sales as my active trader. I almost wanna move my 15 minute chart to the hourly chart. But I, I've had the 15 minute chart so long, but I used to pay attention to it way, way more than I do now. In and out uh, all week, V-U-Z-I. Let's go check it out. V-U-Z-I is moving. Thank you for subscribing, Joy. Thank you. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, Muhammad. Welcome to the channel. Uh, thank you, guys. Alicia Wilma, look at your percent gain, not dollars, Frontline Media says. Look at that. In and out. Muhammad, thank you, man. Monkey, how do I find your Discord? Uh, there's a link in my description. You can go there right there. Primetime DJs, you're already in there, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <clears throat> Here we go, man. TTPH, what's going on with this one? It looks like now what am I looking for? I'm going to draw one more line over the top, a little shorter intraday, intraday trend right here. Let's look at it. Boom, 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 boom. Welcome to the channel, Richard. Thank you. Welcome to the channel. It shouldn't be. Primetime DJs, are you kidding me? Ayub Job put it up there. Take it easy, guys. <laughs> I'll send, okay, Primetime DJs, please send me the script. I would love to. Maybe we'll talk about it. We'll check it out and talk about it. I, I Seriously, I am going to be having some people on this live stream in the pre-market to maybe talk about the stock, some of the stocks that are moving for today, maybe get some other people's opinion and things like that. So what we're gonna, um, I, I know I procrastinate a lot, but I'm super busy in, in life. Af right after this live stream, I gotta run out of here half the time. But anyways, yes, but uh, we're gonna do some good stuff. Soon as I, uh, maybe I'll start uh, spending a little bit more time in trading in the future. But right now, I, I love what I do too. I build, so building is always good. Monkey, I said that's me when you said we have another Francis here. I will never unsee. Oh, that Francis Dean's. That's a, oh, I know you're here, man. Francis Dean. I I didn't really mean to say that. I'm sorry, man. I I I know. Thank you. I I got you, Francis Dean's. I know you're here. I know you've been here. I know you're here, man. I do know you're here. V U Z I is moving. Look at this T T P H. I may take one more trade on this one again, man. Well, we'll see what happens. What am I looking for? This thing kind of is in a weird, funky spot right here. You could try it off the VWAP right here for that push back up to the 326. But me, I, I, actually, I don't really have a spot right here. But it is coming up to that bottom trend line. I, I just don't know right here. So, Jerker, Jerker, Chris N., Jordan Curley, welcome to the channel, man. Welcome to the channel. V-U-Z-I, Vincent saying, V-U-Z-I. V-U-Z-I is moving a little bit, coming down to my daily support resistance line. This stock is so weird to me sometimes, but it is moving. It is moving. I like TTPH a little bit better, but V-U-Z-I, people are talking about that. Vincent's talking about V-U-Z-I, which is moving, has good volume for the day and stuff like that. Hi, uh, Explanation715, hi, new here. Welcome to the channel, man. Welcome to the channel. You're going to learn so much in this live stream. So, so much here. You are at the right place. You are definitely at the right place. How do you get your daily support resistance line? I, I, I put two things together. Basically, I just do it off volume, basically. But everything you look at on a chart is basically volume. The time in sales is telling you the volume going through, the level two, everything on your chart is volume. So that's how I find my daily support resistance lines. Basically, I base it off of the daily volume. <clears throat> Sometimes I put mine a little bit different places because the volume kind of lowers it or hires it. Welcome to the channel, Jackie. 
Hi, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Explanation. Welcome to the channel. It's a great place. Monkey, for the millionth time, can you please explain the VWAP strategy you use? I don't use the VWAP strategy. I, I really don't use the VWAP bounce or I, I don't really use that as a strategy. But uh, some people do. Some people will say, oh, it's testing the VWAP. I'll short into it if it's underneath the VWAP. Some people short into it. And then some people will buy off of it too, which you can see it's doing right now. I, I buy right here on this drop fake. The second VWAP test right here, I don't really buy this, the VWAP, but do you see how bullish? Some people say if it's above the VWAP, it's bullish. If it's below the VWAP, it's bearish. That is a really simple, good way to really look at a chart because 90% of the time, that's going to be the truth. That will definitely be the truth. VUZI is at, th at 238 now. 238. What's that? TUSK. T-U-S-K, what's this one doing? T-U-S-K, T-U-S-K, T-T-P-H. <clears throat> A triangle formation coming, be careful. Send me telegram link to my email, please. <laughs> Explanation. I see, I see use the Fibonacci. I do not use the Fibonacci either. The Fibonacci, the uh, I, I see people that do. I, I watch a lot of, I used to watch a lot of more videos. Now I don't really watch as many videos. I still been, recently I've been reaching out and looking around and seeing what, you always have to keep your eyes open in the stock market and see if anything's changing, anything's new. There's a lot of great traders on YouTube. Very, so many great traders. So it's always good to keep your eyes out there. And I, I know a lot of people do use the Fibonacci. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but the Fibonacci. <laughs> Too many links, yes. V-U-Z-I smacking that high a day. Oh my gosh, look at that, man. I can't believe this. You're right. You guys been calling this this whole time. Why didn't I come over here? Why didn't I come over here? Look at it. Look right where it's at. That red line on my chart is the 200 simple moving average. It does have some resistance at 250 does have some resistance at 250 and then up there by 340, 340, 340, maybe 379, 340. This thing can get moving. Look, it went all the way to $5 back there. All the way to $5. And look at this trend line off the daily chart. It's recently just busted above. This thing's setting up pretty nice, actually. Here we go. <clears throat> V U Z I glasses now work with Zoom. Work with Zoom. Their glasses now work with Zoom. Good job. Man, my throat, my throat is killing me right now. Sorry, man. I I'm trying not to like cough on stream because I hate to hear stuff like that. I hate to hear anything or stuff like that. V V U Z I glasses not worth it. Eight hundred dollar glasses not worth it, man. Yes, I have one of those. Uh, I think it's a, is it the HTC Vive? Yeah, I think I have the HTC Vive. I have that. I have a few games on there. 600 people. What? There's GDTs in the house. Look who's in the house, man. The famous, the one and only GDT, the number one short seller on YouTube. Do you have the trophy GDT? <laughs> Do you have the uh, trophy GDT? GDT has the trophy on the short side of the market, man. Or or no, maybe I'm misspoken. I'm misspoken, man. <laughs> You're killing it, monkey. Keep going. Thank you, GDT. It's good to see you. It's good to see you here. If if people don't know GDT, he short sells the market a lot. And uh, I always watch how he always short sells into those things, how he finds a lot of his stocks. He lives and dies by that uh Intensity Stock Watch Scanner, man. And if you want to sign up with the Intensity Stock Watch, I'm sure GDT could get you hooked right up, man. <laughs> GDT could get you hooked right up. Good job. How did you do today, GDT? Did you make money today? <clears throat> I seen yesterday that you... Uh, I seen yesterday that you uh, shorted uh, CAR yesterday, man. All right, GDT, I guess he just stopped by for a second and headed on out of here. It's always good to see you, GDT, to stop by. Thank you for stopping by. 
Yeah, back in the green today. Good. I'll have to check out your uh, video later. I'll definitely check out your video later. You're one of the people I always keep up to date because I love your trading style, man. I love your setups. I love your trading style. That's kind of how I want to short sell the market is a little bit. I think I can look at it closely to how you look at it. Um, monkey sent script. Okay, thank you, Primetime DJs. I, I'm going. I sent on Discord. I'll check it out later. Well, I love Monkey GDT. Well, you know I love you too, man. In in the manly, strong kind of way. You know that, man. <laughs> you know that. You know that. But anyways, boom. I can't find a study with Feb. You can't. You just go. You got to go to the little. You you'll find it. I'm sure you'll find it. XRF seems to be doing something here. I got to check out XRF real quick. XRF. XRF. Thank, thank you. Yes, yes, man. Very manly. GDT says yes, yes. Very manly. Yes. We, we know what, what's up, man. We know what's up. XRF. Let, let me go look at this one. Let me check it out and see what's going on. Yeah, XRF is getting above the dollar fifty right there. It does have a little bit of low volume. It we did trade it the other day and it was moving pretty good. Bro, let's get back to business. Yes, I'm looking for a trade. I'm constantly looking for a trade. Even when I'm talking, I'm looking for a trade. Look at IO. Look how it had room up to the 350. So that was to me, this is a VWAP test trade. Hopefully it can get up that high. Bro, let's get back to business. Thank you, Dwayne, for subscribing to the channel. GDT, thank you for stopping by, man. It's always good to hear you uh, stop by. Always good to see you, man. <clears throat> Justin Platt says, right click and go to add drawing for the fib. That's what you do right there. No problem. GDT, always good to see you. Always, always good to see you. Always good to see you. I cannot wait to be making the big money like GDT. GDT recently stepped up in share size. That's always what I'm afraid that's going to happen to me. Once I step up in share size, even just a little bit, you always have to pay the piper. You will pay the piper. You always lose once you start stepping up a little bit. You just got to work through the pain and then your next trades, they hopefully they'll work out. Hopefully they will work out. Keep IO on watch. Yes, IO's on watch right now. And I still have TTPH and VUZI. I'm just not sure. Haha, <clears throat> part of the game. Yes, GGT, definitely part of the game. Every time you feel like you're going to step up, you always will take that loser. It's just so weird how the world works. Weird, weird, weird how the world works. Thank you guys. Thank everyone for being here once again. And uh, what you're seeing from your very eyes, just in case you don't know, is my one minute chart, five minute chart, 15 minute chart, level two time and sales. And this is my active trader where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. I'm, I'm going to have to cough. <coughs> I need to take a drink of coffee, man. I have to take a drink of coffee. R Rupam Saha, Rupam Saha, what's going on? Hey, thanks, Born. Uh, Garage Day Trader, good stuff. Yes, Born 100 years late. GDT has some, there's a lot of learning you can uh, do. GDT is one of the originals from the very beginning, I think. GDT is an original. Mm -mm -mm. Got the Kung Flu monk. I hope I don't have the flu. I'm staying way away from all people right now. But it's kind of hard. Everyone's wanting to go back to work so bad. You have to get some work going, man. It's hard to it's hard to stay broke for too long. Monkey, do you think IO is consolidating for another move, or do you think it's over your opinion? Not that of Y100 or its management. On YO, the thing with YO, it's just what well, the only setup I see right here is the VWAP test trade where it could possibly get to 350. I, I think it may be over, but if it happens to get over the 350, over the 370s right there, I maybe it will go higher today. That's what I think. Right now, it's still kind of weak. You know what I mean? Maybe it will just trend down the rest of the day, but it has, it has a possibility up towards 350 right now right now but maybe it will just come down too i want to see it above the 350s above the 375 and then maybe i will take a trade on it if i was going to take a trade right here it would have tried to be down here somewhere by the three dollars 
and then tried to just hold it up towards the 350s. Did you see MDGS yesterday? Remember when I took that trade on MDGS yesterday? Let's look at it. I want to show you this. MDGS, remember I bought, where did I buy at? I bought around this area, around 346, and my profit target was up towards the 370s. Look right where it came to. It came right up to the 370s right there. Look at that. Perfect. If I would have had more time, that would have been a beautiful, great trade yesterday. Beautiful, beautiful, great trade, man. Right there. Ha ha, Kung Flu. I hope not. David Shaw, don't say that, man. I don't want to get the Kung Flu, man. Has anyone heard of PI Network New Digital Currency? Malvarez 909. New Digital Currency like Bitcoin. Pi Network. D guys, a small penny scalp before the drop. Nightcrawler Motion says. So I O I O I O. Look at this. Usually, look at that. So what I want to see, see how it kept making a lower low. I'm hoping it will make a higher low right here at the three dollars. And this is a trade I sometimes take. I get in at the three dollars, and I would sell up towards the three forties, three thirties, three fifties right there. Three thirty, forty, or fifty. And then if it happened to get over, look at VUZI, I am missing out. VUZI, you guys been calling this all day long. VUZI, solid trend. Yes, now this is a stock we can make some money on. VUZI is a stock. GDT, thanks for stopping by again. Sorry, I keep get busy so talking about everything and I, I forget what's going on. My mind gets so scattered sometimes. <laughs> Yes, like Bitcoin. No, I really haven't heard of that, Malvarez. I really haven't. VUZI, solid trend. Yes, look. Look at this, man. If this gets over the 250s, I may take a little trade on this. If this gets over the 250s. I, I'm going to look for, I always look for a little pullback. <clears throat> Let's go. I'm dying over here. I owe, I owe. VUZI, CLVS and VUZI all week. Yes, yeah, CLVS is another one. Hypothetical, hypothetical uh, situation, man. Not directed at you, directed at Dean Simmons. David Shaw says, not directed at you, directed at uh, Dean, S oh, Dean Simmons. <laughs> oh, I, uh, David Shaw, I don't, sometimes I catch the chat in the middle. That's another thing I just want to tell you guys about. I'm very sorry about uh, if I miss reading some of your chat. Sometimes I skip over people by total accident, man. I don't even realize I'm doing it. And then I'll, I'll come back into the live stream when I'm watching my trades and trying to figure things out. <clears throat> and I'll notice, man, I didn't even recognize. I, I recognize every single one of you guys in the chat. I promise you that. How did you change your quantity buttons in Active Trader? You go up here to setup and then you go up, you'll go through, you'll see it in there and you can change your quantity in there. I actually made a video on how to how to change all that and stuff like that. It's how to set up Thinkorswim for day trading. How to set up Thinkorswim. And, and Monkey is going to the moon. Memphis, we are all going to the moon. If I can make $1 million day trading low flow small cap stock, so can you. Everybody can't. We're going to do this, man. We got this. We got this. I'm, I'm looking to get in this thing around the 255s, the 250, even the 248s. Between the 245 and 255, I'm looking to take a trade on this. <clears throat> if it goes to, if it does a pullback in the next five, oh. I, I bought at 257 right there. I bought at 257. Maybe this is just going to come down. If this comes down to 247, I'm not going to add to my position on this. I really don't want this down uh, below 240s right there. The 240s, I'll just stop out. 240s, I'll just stop out. 247, 257, 267, 277, 277, 288, 288. Okay. 25, 247, 257, 258. Come on, man. Get going. We'll see what happens. Thank you for subscribing, the Beard Boys. Thank you, Dennis, uh, for subscribing also. Thank you guys for subscribing. Sometimes there's a lot of sellers taking profit right here. This thing may drop down. It may drop down. We'll see what happens. We'll see what how I thought it was going to get bought up quicker. Did you see when it pulled back? The buyers weren't really stepping in as, as tough as I thought they were going to. 
There's the one buyer, uh, 254 right there. All good, brother. I'm dys dyslexic. I couldn't do what you do. It takes me half hour to read one post. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I, I feel bad when I skip over so many of the chats, man. The only reason I see GDT, I see his little picture right there, and I, I it's just something I recognize, I think. Are you talking about I.O.? I.O. has room up to 350 to me, but who knows? <clears throat> Who knows what's going to happen? Man, I may have to get out of this. I don't know. Maybe I'll add, but I would have to add all the way down to the 220s and I'm not I'm not about to do that, ma'am. Monkey, if I want to if I if I want to let you know of something repeat over and over so when you skip it's all good. <laughs> Thank you, Francis Dean. I see you I see you reading that. I I seen you said it just twice right now. Good job, ma'am. I, I like your stream, man. Just discovered you today. I'm a new trader, but trade long on E-Trade. Trying to find a good sim day trading software to practice day trading before diving in. I think Thinkorswim, they have a paper trading side too. If you go to the orange side, they have a paper trading. It used to be free to get real-time data. I'm not sure if it is anymore. When I signed up, it definitely was uh or, well, it was, yeah. HHT, uh, thank you for subscribing to the channel, Rex. Thank you for sub subscribing to the channel. It means a lot, man. Uh, David Shaw, don't be dissing the Lexics, man. They have feelings too. Yes, I, that's another thing I was going to say. I, I have problems with my letters also, but you'll get through it. Everybody gets through it. It's just life, man. The struggle is what makes life good, man. Black Forest, Black Forest, welcome to the channel. Just watch here. Why don't you say stop limit 5-2% when you see use the ladder? I, because I change my game plan in the middle sometimes. Sometimes things change on this, and I just want to make sure I'm going to be getting my money. Like right there, see it at 263, 263. I, I sold some of my shares at 263, just to, just to be safe right there, just to be safe. 263, come on, get up there. So I have 15 shares left, 263. Let's go, let's go, let's go, ma'am. Come on, you could do it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh. Oh my gosh. Two sixty seven. Boom, another green trade, another green trade. See how I sell so early though? I, I don't hold to my profit targets. I keep saying I'm gonna hold to my profit targets. It's already went to one of my profit targets. Now it's going to my second one. I should have just left my orders in there. I'm getting a little bit stronger every single day. I'm getting a little bit stronger every day, but I'm still taking profits a little early. Thank you for subscribing, Nuno. Thank you for subscribing, Narobo. Thank you for subscribing, Kambala. Thank you guys for being here. Some great, great trades in the market today. Some great, great trades. Congrats, Monkey Ray Daddy. Thank you, man. That was a great little trade right there. I basically got 10 cents a share, so that's good. It, it is still free for real time. Just need to keep a minimum of $500 in your account. I understand sometimes $500 is a little bit of money. TTPH is moving back up. It did come down a little bit further than I like to see it. It came all the way down to the 270s, but now it's getting back above the $3 right there. Look at that. That went right up to my second profit target right there, but now would it stop me out? Uh, this is where I'm having other problems right here. Am I going to get stopped out? Look at that. Got bought right back up. Did you see that? Somebody picked that thing right up right there. They tried to uh, cover their position. Maybe they covered a short position right there because they got stretched out a little bit. Who knows? Don't be scared. Yeah. Monkey, I took an L today. Jer, it's okay if you take an L. You, you're just going to have to get right back on that horse tomorrow, ma'am. Can you give me your opinion about AXAS, please? Yes, I could, but I need to stay with VUZI. I, I want to see if this is going to get up to the $3. I thought this would possibly get up to the 288s, 290s right there. Shift Communication, welcome to the channel, man. Wow, good job, monkey. Thank you, Johnny K. That was a good, simple, easy trade right there. Born 100 years late, trading monkey. Sometimes I will check the support level and also the previous dip swings to get an idea for a stop out. 
Yeah, some sometimes I just change my game plan along the way. But I need to start sticking to my profit targets a little bit better. Trading trading gets a little bit easier over time after you start recognizing your setups. And right now in the stock market, these last two days, some of these stocks run in trends right there. And the last two days, they've really been doing some good things. I noticed it yesterday in the stock market. So I thought today I might as well keep it going right there. Welcome to the channel, De Devzar uh, Magart. Welcome to the channel. Shiv Communication, Frank, welcome to the channel. Uh, there you go. There's my second profit target. It just got to. Look at this, man. This is what I do to myself every single day. This should have been probably about a, a five seven fifty winner. Seven dollar and fifty cents right there should have been. But oh well. What about I O? I O. I'm hoping it can uh, bounce off that three dollars and go back up. T T P H is moving all the way back up, squeezing back up, man. All the way back up to 307, 308. TTPH has good, good volume. Who knows what's going to happen with that one? TTPH came all the way up. Look how crazy that was. VUZI is moving. VUZI is moving a little bit weirdly, though, and kind of slow. Monkey, how old were you? You made your first million. I'm on my way, man. I'm on my way. Uh, I'm doing it. IO is dead. Um, we are going to make $1 million day trading low flow small cap stocks. Before this is said and done, this account right here, it's sitting at $2,557.60. This account is going to be at $1 million in five years time. Mark my words. That's where we're going to go. That's where we're going to get to, man. During my breakfast with Monkey, what was the stock symbol that tanked within a minute? During my breakfast with Monkey, what 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 was it within a minute? I don't know, man. During my lies, lies, breakfast, uh, E, V, E, L, no volume and lower price, A, X, O, A, X, A, S. You guys were talking about that one earlier. I forgot about that. A, X, A, S. Where is my A, X, A, S? Oh, man. I, I kind of want to see if this is getting up to $3, but TTPH, we're missing out on probably a good move on TTPH. Look at this. Look at this, man. TTP8. TTP8. I, I, would, I would need to see this above the 330s right there. I would need to see this about 338 and then do a pullback probably into the 313, 320 right there. But who, who knows? This is looking. Maybe you guys take a trade right here. Maybe this is looking good to you. Look at this. Squeezing out the shorts, man. Went back up. All the way back up. I need to get back over to VUZI. I just want to see. Look at this. For you guys that are braver than me, look at why sell out of something like that. GNUS was the drop. Oh, G yeah. GNUS was the drop, man. That thing dropped all the way down to 60 cents. It did do a bounce. I'm surprised it bounced that high all the way back up to a dollar. A lot of times... I. A lot of times a stock like that that has gapped up like that, I, I guess they do bounce like that, but just it's just tough, 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 tough. TTPH is looking the best right now. VUZI has a little bit lower volume. What does that I mean exactly, Lee Hill? Uh, I inspired by you, monkey. I registered with Malaysia Broker. Then I trade and I won 200, but eventually I lost 130 at the end of the trade. Ray Daddy, you're going to get it, man. That's what this live stream is about. We're learning together. We're trading together. But you always got to know. You got to assume your own risk in the trade. It's your money. You know what you do with your money. You got to trade your own plan and plan your own trade. I'm just showing you my journey all the way up to $1 million. We got this. We're going to make it. We're going. We got it. That's all there is to it, man. V U Z I. VUZI coming all the way back down to 250. So it looks like I would have got my second profit target right there at plus 20 cents, but then my third one up towards the 390s, I three or 288. I'm not sure. I'm trying to see what's moving here. So USIO, SPOMIO, HHT. H-H-T-T-T-T-P-H, man. <laughs> Thanks, monkey. No problem. Ray Daddy, hang in there, man. I know it's tough. I'm not sure what broker is in Malaysia. Can you use Can you use CMake in Malaysia? 
Maybe we'll fly over to Malaysia and check it out, man. Uh, thanks, Monkey. No problem. GNUS offered new stock shares this morning at low price. Willie PB. Yeah, hard to say. I got half of my position. Willie. Willie. Willie, Willie. Oh, TTPH wants to go all the way to four. That's what you were saying. Yes. TTPH, is it going to make it? Is it going to make it or is it just coming down? Was that just a little squeeze? Hey, monkey, tell your admin to let me back in Discord. Kick me out. Uh, Primetime DJs. I I uh, I pot I will talk, but I trust I trust all the admins. I trust their opinion. I can't be double stepping people's. Uh, if I give somebody admin uh, admin privileges, I trust their decisions, man. But you got you know primetime DJs. I, I'll I'll look. Uh, we'll check it out. I, it ain't the time right now, but I'll check it out, man. Definitely check it out. And you know what, what happened on Stock G in US. Sorry, he didn't like I promoted a class. Yes, primetime DJs. That's one thing I'm trying to tighten up on right now is not no commercials. You know what I mean? Some people asked if they could do it and that's fine. But uh, and just those commercials, they started getting out of hand a little bit. I, I, I apologize. I'm sorry, man. Sorry, yo, got it. Yes, prime time DJs, you got it. I understand you know the you know the rules, man. So we'll, we'll we're gonna get it. We'll get it. Damn, this is a hell of a channel. I'm actually having fun here. Thank you, Alexandra. Thanks, man. You're always welcome to Malaysia, monkey. What well, work? I'm gonna check that out, man. Someone asked about a Roscoe. I said take another one. <laughs> I said take another one. Uh, prime time DJs, I definitely hear you. I see you. I I I I hear you and I see you, ma'am. Boom. TTPH to 80 area support again and most likely going for high of day. How was the party? Pawan, the party? We're gonna, I forgot to tell you guys. I'm going to have a party at my house. It's going to be the biggest party this town has ever seen. We're going to rock this place to the ground. We have a DJ. We have prime t We have a DJ. <laughs> there he is right there, man. We have, uh, we have uh, some... Uh, we have a DJ. We have... Uh, some a singer or i guess you call him a singer yeah a performer a singer we're gonna have a band we're gonna have alcohol we have everything coming i don't want to say it out loud too much but people ask for other things also we're gonna have the biggest party this town has ever seen and it's gonna be coming i wanted to do it this summer but i want to have a little bit more time behind my belt right now a mayor the mayor of cashville oh we'll have a mayor too man <laughs> that sounds dope there's going to be alcohol there's going to be everything there it, it's probably going to be like a camping event i can't it's going to be something crazy man but state is the party francis uh it, i'm gonna let you go no ma'am Mark Ray, I Discord. I will need an invitation to get my U.S. visa. Willie P PB, you don't have your U.S. visa yet. I mean, for vacation, you should get your vacation so you can just go. You'll get it, Willie. You will. Any commands? Must have lots of money to afford all this monkey. We're going to do it, man. We got this. I'm going to make $1 million day trading low full of small cap stocks. There's no stopping the monkey army. Believe it or not, we are strong. We are so powerful. We are more powerful than you know. We have a lot of say so. We have a lot of say so. We're going to do this. The monkey army strong. We're powerful. We're soldiers. We're, st we're stepping up to the plate, man. Remember to always, always trade your own plan and plan your own trade. I O, I I O, it's right. I O is right down where I would scoop it up. I I haven't been taking this trade a lot though, but this is the VWAP test. See how it made a higher a low right here. It's it's making a higher low at three dollars. I would want it to make a higher low. I would use this as my stop. The two nineties. And I would look for profit up towards the 330s, the 340s, or the 350s. But that's just me. And, and I'm not even taking the trade. So this is just talk out my mouth. I'm just talking out my mouth. I'm not even taking the trade because I don't trust it. But it is a trade I sometimes take. But I'm not taking it. So what does that say about that trade? It's not saying a whole heck of a lot. But but I do like it. I do definitely like it. Oh, V-U-Z-I dipped to the trend line, Daryl Hickman says. Let's go look at that one. Let's go look at, oh yeah, look at this one. 
look at that 234 234 how much buying power i went over my i have 81 dollars buying power i had a lot of buying power today I did not mean to spend so much buying power. Tomorrow I'm going to have even less buying power. Let's see how much money I made today. I, hopefully I put all my check marks up there. I took four trades today, but that one trade on TTPH, I had to step in pretty deep, man. I'm out of IO, 418 down, bought at 402 before the rip. Watched it drop like a rock and added all the way down to 337 average and sold at 308. Wrecked me. Yes, this is me posting my losers too. Good job, Justin Platt. I'm very proud of you for doing that. That Did you see? That wasn't even as bad as you thought. You, you lost 29 cents a share. That is well within my risk. I'm not, I don't know your risk, but that is well within my risk. That is very brave. Very, very brave. Lance Seeley. Thank you, man. Lance Seeley just donated to the channel. Thank you, guys. I'm not a rich man. Every single dollar that comes into this live stream stays with this live stream. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you, Lance. Thank you, man. How do you stay under the PDT rule? I use a cash account. And with a cash account, you're not bound by the PDT rule, but you are bound by the amount of cash in your account. And with TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim, your cash clears every two days. So with a $2,000 account, I try to spend $1,000 each day. I try to spend about $200 on each stock I trade. And that's how many shares. That determines how many shares I'm going to buy. I don't figure it out like most people. They say, okay, it's going to be a 15 cent risk. So I'll buy this many shares to risk this much money. On every single one of my trades, I have a 40 cent max stop. And, and that's just well within my strategy. That's just how everything works out for me. That's how I figure it out. But yeah, with a cash account, you're not bound by the PDT rule. Newbie alert, does equity mean uh, borrowing ability? Equity, equity, stock equity. Uh, you, uh, Roland B, you know that, man. No, no. Drop, fake, and pop, boom. What? Well, where at? On on uh, VUZI, the drop, fake, and pop, boom is actually happening. But the only reason I don't take this is because it's too close to that 250, my daily support resistance line. So it's going to have to try to bust up through there. I missed the Apple Pay to deposit money within 10 seconds. I missed the Apple Pay. Apple Pay to deposit money. Racing Wits. Just learned how to read out balance sheet. I'm a beekeeper in this. Uh, Daryl Hickman, you're a beekeeper? Oh, man, I have bees. I have bees too, man. Daryl Hickman, I have some bees. I, I have one hive. I have one hive of bees. They're only, they have one box right now, and they have that little reducer on them. I, I feed them sugar. I, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I can talk about bees all day long. I, I love bees, man. Honeybees are crazy. Did you guys see those killer those killer wasps one one killer wasp killed a huge uh, a mouse it killed a mouse i seen a video on a on a show a big old wasp he jumped on the uh, mouse's back and he stuck it right and he killed the mouse he killed the mouse man <laughs> oh yeah her hornets that's what they are mr nice no hornets that's i think that's what it is man it means ownership the mayor cashville uh uh it means ownership I saw it too. You daring alone. You saw that too. Killer wasps. That's crazy, man. <laughs> Thanks, Lee Hill. Man, th those killer wasps. They're, they're taking over. I think. I don't know. Where's the video? I, I'm gonna. I, I wanted to show you guys a picture of my hen. That's on the. Uh, I, I I should take a, a little video of my beehive also. I I just do this stuff just for fun. You know, just having animals and stuff. It's fun. Kill, killed prayer mantis too. Killed a praying mantis also? Man, those killer wasps, those things are huge, man. I, I, I watched another video. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, man. Let's get back to the stock market. What what am I looking for? TTPH. I'm looking for a trade. I just don't know where right now. TTPH, GRS eggs. <laughs> wait for your funds to settle. Wait, yeah, wait for your funds to sell. If So if I traded cash yesterday... It should be settled and able to use by tomorrow. If you traded, yes, 
Uh, yes, that I believe that's right. It's only business days, though. They don't count the weekends. I do not believe. Everything I tell you guys out of my uh, mouth, I try to be it's, as honest as I can be. Here's V-U-Z-I. I, boom. I, I, I'm just taking a little trade just for the fun of it. Just my drop, fake, and pop, boom. I entered at 236. I will sell at 249 or 248, 246 probably. 246, 236. If it comes down to 226, I will stop out. I will stop, stop out, stop out. 18 cents. I was holding uh, APDN, APDN for three days yesterday. I said, screw it, get out. Three minutes later, it ran over my original entry. Mr. Nice, I know. Sometimes I do that quite often. I, I do that every single trade. I take my... Uh, I take my money. Live life without fear of everything. <laughs> Paul to Paul, there you go, right there. You have the key to success right there. Live life without fear of everything. I know life gets tough sometimes and you don't want to hurt people's feelings. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. But you know who you are. You got to live your life, man. <laughs> you got to live your life. Look at SM. SM I had for a short sell today. SM was a short sell. So let's go look. SM. SM, SM, whoa, look at SM is going up, man. SM, I guess I wouldn't, look at this, man. This is going up, up, and up, 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 and up right there, 377. I, I would, actually, this looks like a short sell to me. Where would I short sell? I would, I would start at the 358. I would add all the way into the four dollars, believe it or not, about the four tens. I would add into the four tens right there. 357. Let's look at this. 357. Where's VUZI at? Is at 236. Okay, 236, 237. SM. I, I want to see what happens with SM. So 357. Sometimes I get in a little early, but this is a pretty steep move. Look at that move up there. 357. 357. I usually just run with one third of balance. Take profits, get in, get out. That way, each second day is clear for more trades. That's perfect. Murder hornets. Uh, Nariba. Yeah, yeah. Killer, killer hornets, man. What's the dip? Buy the rip. Yeah, buy the dip, sell the rip, man. Buy the dip, sell the rip. Where is VUZI at right now? 238. I'm going to put my sell target out there right now at 238. 246. 246. I, I was just looking for a little play on this. So that's just basically what I'm looking for. A little 10 cent game for a 10 cent risk right there. SM. SM is at 348. We'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe it will come all the way up to the 249, the 250, maybe even the 260s. But I, I just wanted to capture that little bit of money right there. The 9MA is laying down on its head kind of hard, but we'll, we'll see. Any experience with CME group platform? D Thurman? No, I have not used them as of yet. When I was on an off -sea broker, it was sure trader I was trading with. So anyways, that's what I was trading with. I, I never, I'm going to trade. I will be moving to CMAG. I will definitely be going to CMAG though. TTPH looks like it's consolidating. Yes, it does. Right down by that 270s. Right down by the lows right there. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I owe, oh, maybe that one's going to get up to the, man, this is not looking that good. I, I thought it would possibly get up to the 250s, but it's looking a little weak to me. A little, little weak. A little weak right there. And SM, what's this one doing? SM. Maybe there's a long trade on SM. This is just my quick look. I was looking for a short sell for this thing, but do you see this kind of grind? It, it's not the, it looks like it could push up. Remember CARS yesterday? This still has a little power in it, possibly. A little power, but I would still start my short sell right there. Let's see, VUZI. VUZI. V U Z I 227, 227, 226. 
227 sterling is a good platform i'm gonna i think i i'm not sure sterling or they have a uh, dos or what what is that the the trading platform i'm letting my funds in robin hood stash and think or swim settle and pulling them out d thurman why are you pulling them where are you go oh you're going to c meg you're going to go to c meg maybe okay so let, let's regroup let's think about this let's take a deep breath Let's take a drink of coffee. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, D. Thurman. Yeah, C. Meg. SM can run hard. Made some money last week. Pre-fiery. Yes. So, so that's why that's why I wanted to open my mouth like that because maybe there's a long trade on it. But three fifty-seven. My next ad would be about three eighty-seven. I would try at three eighty-seven. I want to stretch out my orders a little bit on something like this but that's what i would do but look at that even if you took a long trade right where i took a short trade at 357 look it came all the way to 365 right there all the way up man where's the vuzi man what is gonna happen B U Z I 223. I really don't want to add. I do have a daily support resistance line at 217. At 217. Two seventeen. I'm gonna have to. I'll get out for breaking. Glad I found your channel, Monkey. Waking up at 5 45 a.m. isn't easy, but trading with you guys is pure motivation. Thank you, man. That means a lot. Yes, trading can get a little bit tough, especially when you have to work and do all this other stuff. But if you want to make trading work, you will make trading work. It's up to you. It's up to you. Nothing's stopping you. It's your life. Get to it, man. Get to work, man. Are you shorting with TOS? D Thurman, every time I short sell, I I'm when I talk about a short sell, it's just on paper. Because I will be paper, I will be short selling when I move to C Meg. And when I move to C Meg, I'm going to be finding shares to short. But the only time it will depend on the market conditions, but most of the time when I'm finding shares to short, it's gonna be on certain circumstances. Maybe a lot of times it may be on the day two move. It's gonna be different circumstances, but I've been putting together a little list, a little pamphlet of how I will look into everything. What about HHT? What's going on with HHT? Welcome to the channel, uh, Keith Dreyer. Thank you for subscribing, man. Is it okay to hold a trade so to avoid the red? No, you probably shouldn't do that. The only reason I do that is because some of my trades fall into a different strategy. So if, a, if one of my trades, I, I have numerous strategies, so some of my trades I feel comfortable adding because then it's just into my next strategy and it's just going to be just fine. That's why I like having a lot of strategies. I, that That's what makes it a lot easier. I'll be here for the long haul. I appreciate your efforts. Thank you, D. Thurman. That means a lot, man. That means a lot. We're here for five years, at least five years. We're going to be here all the way to $1 million. Imagine that. All of us have the potential to make $1 million in five years' time. I started with $450. And once I start growing, once my account gets up there a little bit, I'm really going to start stretching this out and really trying to do different things. But remember, I can't make no promises. And just being here is half the battle, ma'am. Who is that platform? It is Thinkorswim TD Ameritrade. TD Ameritrade 46. I'm just going to get out at 46. This thing should, if this thing gets through the 41s, I think maybe it will get to the 48s, 49s. Maybe I'll take half of my shares right there too. I'll take three shares at 46. And then I'll put my stop at break even for the rest. If it gets up there, maybe it's still coming down. Maybe it's not going to come up. Phil shot up. Low volume though. P-H-I-L shot up. Shut up. T I want to see what TTPH is doing. TTPH. TTPH. Or here's IO. Look at IO from the $3. Look at you guys could take your first profit right here at the resistance. 
If you did happen to get in down there at the $3, I would take some profit right here. And then I'd hold the rest up towards the 350s. What a beautiful one. I didn't take the trade, but that's a good clean trade right there. Good, good clean trade right there, ma'am. When you start every single day from 9 a.m. Eastern time till noon, every single day we trade the stock market. Every day the market's open, we're going to be here. It's day 87 of the Monkey Army March. We're going all the way up to the moon, parabolic, all the way up. You stream every single day. So Gun Madden, every single day. If I'm not here, it's probably because I'm sick or I have a doctor's appointment or something like that. That's the only reason I would get at, not be here. But 99% of the time, I'm going to be here every single day the stock market's open. Or if I have work or something, just something that is just an emergency or something. D Ferguson, welcome to the channel, man. And on Fridays, I try to come back for Power Hour. Our Terry says T-R-I-L. Where the heck's Terry at, man? The other Terry, not our Terry. Terry, who usually comes around here and says, hit the like button. Like, like, like. That kind of stuff. Some of you guys come. Some, some of you guys go. I know life gets in the way sometimes. But anyways, yes, life gets in the way. Come on, man. Get up there. Yo, yes, hold if you have done research and believe in what you are buying, but never hold something you are just blindly buying. Exactly. Paul the Bald, exactly. If you're trying to swing trade a trade that was a day trade, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? The Ha Terry. <laughs> yes, the Ha Terry. Where, where at, man? Terry, thank you for subscribing, Michael. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you, D. Ferguson. Thank you, uh, Michael Boss. Look at this. Come on. Get up there. 46. There, I sold half of my shares there for plus 10 cents. For plus 10 cents. I'll sell another share at 240, uh, 249. At 249. Oh. Why didn't I sell that? 249. Oh, 249. I'll sell one more share right at 249. If it gets up there, if it happens to come back down to 236, I'll stop out. But I'm trying to learn to hold longer, man. Uh, I, I do, but not for my entries. Just to have an idea about where the stock is relative to yesterday's resistance. T-L-R-Y. I do like T-L-R-Y, man. T-L-R-Y. This came right up to my profit target. I was trying. I should have just got out with all my shares right there. But anyways, I, I'm probably just. I should have. But oh, well, we'll see what happens. Let that dip and rip. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to hold on to this one a little bit longer. Maybe I'll try to hold on for this one up towards the 260s. But that 250 right there and that resistance, this is like a triple top right here. See, that 249 right there is definite resistance. Definite, definite resistance. Also, congrats on the 4.1 subs. Student Trader, thank you. Thank you, mate. May has it been good to me. Student Trader, hang in there. You got this. You guys know. You guys know. I'm putting my stop at 236. I'm not letting this go against me at all. 236 stop me out man i should have just took all my profit right there i i knew my profit target this is why i and if i was gonna hold on to my two other shares i should have actually just kept my stop down at the 225s down there if i if i thought this was gonna go back up but i i have no idea what this is gonna do or i guess every nobody has an idea hey you job copy that Corona messing everything up for me. I'm getting sick of it. Yes, the GNUS is pushing. GNUS is pushing with some volume right now. GNUS. This thing came all the way back down. Where did this open at? This opened at, oh, it's, a, it's above its open price. Look at GNUS. Maybe they thought they were getting some, something was going on. GNUS, man. G-N-U-S. V-U-Z-I could still go up, actually. Here we go. 50 shares. 50 shares. 86, 36. Just discovered the channel. I'm watching live from Hong Kong. Love the concept. Thank you, Vincent. Where else in the world can you learn something? Maybe it takes you five years' time. But at the end of those five years, if you could earn $2,000 a day in like three hours' work, would you do it? 
That's what we're doing here each and every day because that is the power of the stock market. Where do you think the rich people put their money? Where do you think they make their money? The stock market. Where else they make it in real estate? So let's join the crowd, man. <laughs> let's join the crowd. Love from India. India's in the house too. Good job, man. India, India, India. Good. It's good to see you guys, man. I'm Native American. I like India, of course. Love from India. I buy blind and pray. Roland B says, I buy blind and pray. You just got to, the only thing in trading, wherever you're buying at, if you do not have correct risk management, then you have to have correct risk management. My risk management is always 40 cents. So I know it's going to be around 40 cents will be my max, max loser. So that's okay with me. Roland B, if you are profitable, you are going to have to teach us your prayer. <laughs> yes. Yes, for sure. Monkey, I buy 10 shares and watch the market. If it goes down, I buy 50 more shares. And if it goes up, I profit. MMA art, that, that is a concept. What what do you call that kind of concept, man? I, I like that. I like that look, though. I, I want to look what VUZI is doing. Man, look at this. Right off my daily support resistance line. I'm th I was thinking about buying this right here, but man, I should... 84 a dollar it does have room up to 99 cents has room up to 99 cents right there and i missed that one so ttph came all the way back down to 250s maryland usa pacos ps maryland usa man talk about hht let, let me look at it real quick but i'm going to come back to gnus this one looks like it has good volume everything still moving i missed this trade right here Look at this. I usually don't trade a stock that looks like this, but it actually found its feet, caught its feet right there, did that trend. Here's the trend line. Let's draw the little trend line if I can. Look at this. Look at this. Or actually, I won't put it there. I'll put it about 1015, 1015 right here. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that, man. Look at this. I missed, I totally missed a great play totally missed a great play i cannot believe i let that play go by you know what was hesitating me was the price the price was hesitating me and the and the look to it this ain't really the look i look for but it, it was still looking good our mbl has a lot of volume is it going to go up well ask uh ask um a stock unhinged is our mbl gonna go up man i'm not sure if it will go up thank you for subscribing thank you for subscribing vincent thank you for being here thank you for being here man what is your average trade amount five two hundred and twenty dollars two hundred and twenty dollars jack good that's what i put into each trade i try to put two hundred and twenty dollars into each trade until after eleven o'clock after 11 o'clock, I dumb down my share size to half share size or sometimes a quarter share size after 11. Because after 11, I have a bad, bad look at the market. Bad, bad look at the market. I was looking, where's VUZI? VUZI all the way down. All the way down. AU Jobs. Roland B says thumbs up, a drink, smiley face, tears, laughter. <laughs> what will be a good price for HHT and VUZI? VUZI is move. I, I think a lot of times VUZI goes all the way up and comes back down. But then into power hour, I've seen VUZI come right back up again. VUZI could have a power hour move. I just don't like the vo how it's moving, the volume stuff. But it, ha but it has made some good moves in the past. It definitely made some good moves. Look at that. 83 to 93. 10 cent move on a dollar stock. 10%. This thing moved 10%, 10% on your money, man. 10% on your money right there. If GNUS breaks over a dollar, watch out. Yes, if it breaks over a dollar, look out, man. Look at that. Daryl Hickman says, watch out. T-R-I-L, H-H-T. I'm going to look at H-H-T real quick. Let's go look at it. H-H-T, boom, H-H-T. HHT. So let's look at this one. So it does have okay volume today. It is climbing up. Look at the range all day long from 50 cents to 75, 25 cents. That, that's a bit huge move for a, a 50 cent stock basically. So can it go up any higher than that? I, I'm not real sure. I'm not real sure. 
I don't know. This one's tough. I, I See how it's moving? Look at the volume. It has good volume. I don't know the float on this stock. This stock probably has a, a huge float on it or something. It, I, I don't know. HHT just doesn't have nothing I look for. So I can't really give you that great of an opinion on it. But GUNS, on the other hand, look at this thing, man. This thing is moving. I'm, so, I'm sorry about that. Uh, sorry, uh, whoever was asking about HHT. Uh, oh, Ru, Rupam Saha. I'm sorry about HHT. I, I just don't have that clean a look. If I had an opinion, I would let you know. I just really don't. If GNUS breaks a dollar, look at this. This one is moving. This was one of the top stocks this morning. And then we ended up trading TTPH. A lot of these stocks I thought were going to be short sales. Just like uh, IO, which turned into a short sell just a little bit later on. Thanks, man. No problem. Uh, Rupam Saha, no problem. T-R-I-L. Thank you guys for being here. We're staying all the way to noon. Straight up and down, man. Straight up and down. Can you believe we had GDT in the house today again? GDT stopped by, man. That's always good to have. That's always good to have. Very small world around this joint. I'm trading on my mobile. The best I could explain it, it's like driving with blinders on. Very limited on setup ability for key lines and indicators. But I'm having fun. Up or down, really down. That's another. If you're trading on your phone, mobile like that, I guess you can get in pretty quickly. But I, I think the five minute setups would probably be a little bit cleaner. Or even if you set your charts to the three minute time frame, maybe the three minute time frame would be the best. Or I, I don't know. That's just my opinion. Kind of slow it down just a little bit. I like the uh, faster time frame because I scalp the market a lot, but maybe the three minute or five minute time frame might be a little bit better. Man, pre-market planning must take you ages with massive watch lists. <laughs> yes, I, I do a lot of pre-market analysis, I'll tell you that right now. I, I just don't jump into the market super quickly. I, I have my looks what I look for, and I try to judge everything ahead of time. But sometimes the stock comes out of the blue. A lot of times the stocks come out of the blue, and I already have traded that stock in the past before. Once you've been trading a while, you're going to see a lot of the same stocks come up over and over and over again. I do the same. Too many stocks that pop in the morning. Like right now, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17... <laughs> I have 30 I have 30 stocks I did pre-market analysis on. 30 stocks. Work harder. Work harder. That's what I do. Work I, I don't work smarter. I just work harder and that gets me where I need to be. What else am I going to do? If I want to make 1 million dollars day trading low flow small cap stocks, I can't be a slouch about it. I need to stand up and get to work. I need to dig in deep and get my money, man. Do I want to have a million dollars in my pocket or do I not? Yes, I do. And I'm going to get there. If it's going to take five years time, what do I need to do to take those steps to get where I want to be? I need to stand up, man. My hands raised and stays raised. You know how we do it, man. <laughs> you know how we do it. That's how we do it. Look at IO right up to your profit target. The VWAP test. Perfect. Look at that. I, I would take or do whatever you want, but I would take your pro I would take my profits right there. Boom. Perfect. Nice. Good. I owe a large green candle. Hopefully some of you guys got a hold of that. That was a good little trade. I have not seen this trade working too often. I mean, it works just not the best lately. But look at that. That was clean. Nice. The volume. Perfect. Beautiful. Someone with much more experience than me could probably trade just fine with mobile. It works great for me to give my money away. Roland B. It's probably pretty tough, but that that would maybe even calm. Maybe I should trade on mobile because it'd calm my nerves. I wouldn't be able to exit or enter super quickly. Be buy breakout, buy breakouts. I I don't really buy the breakouts. I don't. Sometimes I will buy a breakout, but not very often. I'll get in right before the breakout a lot of times, but not after the breakout. I want to see what PIXY did. PIXY came straight on down. IO, IO, and GNUS. GNUS also. 
No, Bry. Oh, Bry. No, Bry. <laughs> no, Bry. B R Y. Let's check it out. B R Y. Mr. Nice says B R Y right there. Boom, boom, boom. Going up, up, and up. Up, up, and up. Let's check it out, ma'am. B R Y. B R Y. B R Y. Oh, yeah, this is something I used to, if this one would have just started moving, had volume in the morning, see that little gap right there from the 450s up to the $5? Sometimes they'll come right up to that gap and then they'll come back down. They'll come right back down right there. 440s, 450s, 570s, 450s, 570s. Has a little bit of support. 282 man look at that look at that i i wouldn't take this on the long side right now but i don't know it does have some volume i find it easier to trade on my phone than the td platform platform takes too long to trade for me but just me joe silva yes frsx is also moving bry mr nice is not something i would trade on the long side but it does look like it has some volume and it is moving it is moving, but FRSX, look at this one trying to get back over the dollar. FRSX, look at, here we go with this one. So a dollar ten, probably about a dollar fifteen right here. Maybe I'm going to get some money back out of this thing. Well, we're going to have to see. IO is going up, monkey. Yes, Francis, I seen that VWAP test. I talked about that trade at $3. And then I would have took some profit at 320s and I would have scaled out of my position. I would have took the rest around 338, 350 right there. Look at FRSX, FRSX, ma'am. FRX, SX. 110, here we go. How much money? I have $69 left. $69, 69. So you specialized on US low flow or you also scalp 4X. Uh, on this, um, what I'm trading right here with Thinkorswim TD Ameritrade, where I'm going to make my money is day trading low flow, small cap, basically any stocks. There is so much money on this. There's so much money around here. What am I looking for on this one? I'm basically looking, I don't like the stocks right around a dollar. A lot of times these wreck me, but one stock I missed out on a little while ago. If this gets up to like the one, I would want to see it basically by the 115 and then do a pull back into the 105s. That's where I would try to get in. But some people will take it right here, right here at the 105 and then sell into the 115s possibly. But me, GNUS is also doing a pretty good move. A lot of these stocks are doing that same look right there. Same, same look. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for this to come up a little bit. Wait for this to come up just a little bit. To anyone that is successful trading on mobile, you are a beast and have my respect. Yes, day trading on mobile. I think it could be done. Uh, maybe I should try that too. Maybe I'll try that later on. Boom, boom, boom. Whoa, look at that. That's why I don't buy that because this is what happens. I always go, okay, it busted over a dollar. I'm going to buy right there at the dollar support, and this is what will happen. It will go all the way down to like 85 cents, 90 cents, 92 cents, and then come back up. Or sometimes it just keeps going down, down, and down. Down, down, and down. GNUS seems to have a little bit stronger strength to this thing. FRSX break up pre high 125 for me to take it. Darren alone. That's another great spot up there where Darren alone's talking about up towards the 125s. Wait until maybe wait until it gets up there. That's true. There's a few different spots. Some people would try it right here by the dollar. I'm going to try it right in the middle so I know it's actually picked a direction. But look at 102 is trying to stand on down on this thing. You want to use bracket orders on mobile for TOS. That's another thing. I was uh, trying to set up bracket orders and trailing stops. I'm still doing that, but I'm doing that on practice after the fact. Um, I, I'm, I'm still trying to set it up for myself. Like later on after the live stream in the evenings, I go through my trades. I try to test out my bracket orders. I try to see where a trailing stop would work. 
how many cents would I have to put my trailing stop to actually catch most of the move? It's, it's a really difficult fine line to walk right there. So I'm still working on that. It's a work in progress for me. For, for me. We are going to get this. If you have a plan and set up in and out, then mobile works. Look at this thing. Still trying to push. Look at GNUS is trying to get over the dollar also right now. GNUS has a lot of volume. FRSX has some volume. Some of these stocks, man, are moving pretty good. If you have a plan, yes. TLRY over 810. Over 810. Man, TLRY is a good stock. I love that stock. I love TLRY. TLRY, TLRY, boom. TLRY. Man, that $8 on TLRY. I love how that looks right there. And that's another one moving good. That one went all the way from seven fifty all the way to eight dollars. G N U S. I I don't like the way F. I'll I'll come back over to F R S X if it goes up a little bit higher. Right now I'm going to get back over to G N U S. G N U S. Let's look at this one. G N U S. F R S X trying to clear V W A P big seller at one o three popping up. Yes. I see that too. So there's a couple stocks moving right now. So GNUS, FRSX, but it's going into lunchtime also. <clears throat> Joe Silva says LPC and looks good for a swing trade. For a swing trade. Let's see what VUZI did. VUZI came right down. This is where I would add right there. Believe it or not, that would have been my ad right there if I had to add before I got my profits right there. But boom, 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 boom. Here we go. Look at this thing. Look at the buyers on this. I'm buying for this little scalp trade right here. <clears throat> I'm buying for the break of a dollar. I usually don't take this trade, but I'm taking it this time <laughs> for the break of a dollar. For the break of a dollar up towards a dollar ten. Oh man, for the break of a dollar, I forgot this stock doesn't move that much. It doesn't move that much, but I, I'm going to hold on a little bit. A dollar, a dollar, a dollar. 99, 99, 99. Man, I usually don't jump in like that. Oh my gosh, can you believe this? Come on, man. If it breaks, I, I, th I thought I was getting in for the break of a dollar, but I needed to sell into that little break right there. So I'm going to get out for some of my shares at 102. I know that's only three cents, but that's what I'm looking for. 102. Man, it hit 102, but it did not sell me out. 102. 102. 99. Come on, man. There, there's a huge orders going through right there. 99. 99. 99. We'll see what happens. This looks like maybe there's a short seller trying to hold this thing down and building a huge position to bring it all the way back down to 84 cents. We're going to have to see. We will see. Boom, boom, boom. Monkey, are you chasing? Yes, Sutton Kendall. I am definitely chasing. I should have sold into that first push over the dollar. I was seeing the strength right there. I just wanted to sell into that quick little push. This stock only, this stock can move about six cents a minute though. Six cents a minute. So I, I should have got 105. I should get 105. That's what I'm going to do. Try 105. 105, I'm going to look for. 105 or 104 will be my first profit target. First, first profit target. 104, 105. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> what, what did I do to myself, man? What did I do to myself? 97, 95, 95. If, if buy at 98, yes, I, I bought at 99 for that break right there, but we'll, we'll see. It needs to hold right here. If it doesn't hold right here, I'm out. I'm not going to lose my money back. What a FOMO trade, man. It, it caught me. It got me good right there. Got me, got me good. 96, 95, 94. Come on. Come on. FRSX is still <laughs> moving a little bit. I cannot believe what I did right here. 
If I could add to my position, I would add an 85, but I can't. 95, 99, 99, 96. V-Watt bounce at 82, monkey pullback. Yes, I know, man. I thought this was going to go up a little bit higher. I may get out for break even because I'm just going to be here a little bit longer. 96, 97, 98. TTPH has pretty good volume also. TTPH, 97, come on. 97, <clears throat> 97, dollar strong, resist, I know, 100%, can you believe where, look where I bought at, 0.9996, if this trade works out, this is garbage, if I, if I was buying for that breakout, I should have sold at the breakout, what am I doing holding on, this is holding and hoping, holding and hoping, definitely, holding and hoping, holding and hoping, 94, 94. Me too. Arthur McConaughey. Sometimes you get caught by those little grabs like that. I thought maybe it was going to push and it was going to go right to like 115 really quickly. And then boom, I'll sell right there. But that's okay. But when, when you're trying to trade a little breakout like that, you can't be holding and hoping after the fact. That's too late. That's too late. So anyways, we'll, we'll see what happens right here. It could drop super quickly. It looks like it may drop super quickly. We'll see. 95. 95. 95. If it breaks 95, I'm selling. 95, I am selling. Somebody's trying to buy it up at 95. It, it looks like somebody's p filling some shares at 95 right there. 95, 95. Here we go. Get up there. Oh, 95. 95. 95. Uh-oh. Looks like it's going to break. Looks like it could break. 95. 95. 95. I'm going to get out some of my shares right there just to reduce my risk because it looks like it may drop right through that 95. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Yep. Garbage, garbage. That's why you don't buy breakouts right, right there. That's why you don't buy breakouts. I'm out, Arthur. That, that was a, that one hurts. I, on a dollar stock, losing six cents on a dollar stock, that's a huge amount right there. That is uncalled for. Un uncalled for. Okay, well, that's a, that's how that goes. I had $10 in my pocket till this last trade right here. If it comes back up to 96, I'll stop out the rest. Had to step away and return to, let's go, let's go. Yes, look at that. So if you're if I'm trading a breakout and that breakout just breaks out and it does not keep going, I need to stop out. I This is a definite, this is a hang up of mine. Why did I not stop out there? But, but now I'm going to look for this. If this starts getting back over the 96 cents, maybe I'll hold on for a little bit longer. If it gets back over the 96 cents, I'm probably holding and hoping right now. But we'll see. We will see. I notice you sell your gains fast and losses slow. Just be neutral. Yes and A. Yes, I absolutely do. I absolutely do. The reason I sold half of my shares there, I could see the 95 breaking, but I did not want to. I I just wanted to hold and hope, I guess. That's all I wanted to do. 96. 96. I'm going to sell a couple more shares at 96 just to be safe. 96. 
96. I do that too, Max Force. How do we sick? I, this breakout trading, this is for the birds, man. I am not going to do a breakout trade again. I am not going to do it. Set a stop loss if you don't follow a mental game plan. Yes, I. but I on my stop losses, the reason I don't put a hard stop, because in my rules, I have a hard stop. I have a stop. If, if a stock washes out really quickly, and I don't want to stop out on the bottom, my stop will be at the bottom of that candle, but I let it go further. See that candle right there? It washed out super fast. That should be my stop at 95. But I wanted to give it, anyways, I didn't stick to my rules. I definitely did not stick to my rules right there. We will see. I'm going to get out of here. I got to get out of here in a minute. I just want to see if this is going to break above the dollar and maybe get up here. Maybe get me a little bit break-even trade. A break-even trade on this. Lunchtime breakouts are fake out. Darren alone. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Whoa. Darren alone just called it right there. Lunchtime breakouts are fake outs a lot of the time. A lot of the time. Ninety-five. I'm going to give it two more minutes and I got to get out of here. I keep telling myself, you know why I took that trade too? Another reason? I, I have no excuse. I took it because I did. I, I'm getting out of here. Boom. I'm out. $2.32 right there. Bad. That, that was like a quarter of my profits today. Quarter of my profits. Two fifty-six. So today I ended up making ten dollars. I made actually two sixty-eight. Oh, I made I made eleven dollars. I made eleven dollars today. I even lost two dollars and thirty. I made eleven bucks today, man. I'm eleven dollars green. That's good. That is good, man. I made eleven dollars. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Thank you guys for everyone who subscribed to the channel. Welcome to the channel, man. I really messed up at the end of the day. I really apologize for that. I hate to do stuff like that. Thank you for subscribing. Looks like I made 11 bucks today. That was a horrible trade. Paul DeBald, I'll see you tomorrow. See everyone in the morning. Tomorrow's Friday. We're going to come back tougher than ever. Tomorrow we got this. Need to get a timer or hourglass. Can't sell for profit until timer goes off. Hate Diet Pepsi. Maybe I'll try that. At least put a two-minute timer or something. That's a great idea. All right, everyone. Have a, have a good day. First red, red day, red first day. Francis, uh, you'll get it, man. Peace, Monk. Justin Platt. See you guys later. Peace out. Thanks, Monkey. See you guys in the morning. Most of my trades were green today, but you can't be green every single trade. I'm still green overall on the day. Peace out, Vincent. See you guys later. Thank you. Another green day. Boom. Times three. I'll see you guys in the morning. Dave G77. Vincent. Alta. Prefiring. CB, CBP1. Francis, Dean Simmons, Justin Platt, Ethan, Francis, Brian M., everyone, Joe Silva, everybody, hate Diet Pepsi, peace, see you guys tomorrow, see you guys later, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I'll see you